rage Girl, you're slowly deep inside of me I'm being swallowed by confusion Love between the truth and my insatiable delusion It's just my pride Or is it just a bunch of lies? I don't care, but I just gotta find myself a place to ride But I can taste it Look at the junction And that my type of finger And it's holding me to ransom I'm staying in mind It's going blind I'm losing proof of every attitude That I can ever find Oh, I'm switching for a reason My mind is on a journey But I'm quickly running out of time Storm is rising On oh, my horizon My fate is coming at the speed of light Don't stay
Alright, what's up everybody? Yo Wolf Pack, yo lover of wolves, yo Nova, yo reasonable radical, what up everybody? What up other people? Because I didn't count how many people that was. I think that's one, two, three, that's four. So up silent lurkers, what what up? Yo, as Pastor Finger Guns would have said, word up. Shout out to Pastor Finger Guns. If if you know, you know. Shout out to my boy Pastor Finger Guns. <laughs> Can I get shout out to Pastor Finger Guns in the chat? <laughs> uh, <fucking idiot. laughs> All right, so y'all may remember uh, a few weeks ago. I tried to play Dark, but for whatever reason, it didn't work. Well, we gotta try again, because I think I realized what the problem was. But we ain't gonna do that right now. Um, what we're gonna do right now is continue that God Hand Kick Me Challenge, because I kinda wanna play the Darkness, but I don't wanna do that as the first thing. I don't really know why, I just kinda don't. But, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. I have never heard of them. All right, Pastor Finger Guns, total, total single nail. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you in DMs because it take a little too. It, it would be easier if I could show you because I'd have to show you the actual, like, physical hand movements of Pastor Finger Guns. Alright, go ahead, try and do me some harm. While you try, I'll just rip off your arm. Nothing personal, I hope you understand. Now I don't mean to be lame, I'm about to remove your spleen. Oops. No, I haven't, and can you please delete my name text? Hmm? Oh, oopsie! I forgot to actually read all the all the comments. I'm sorry. My fault. My fault. Yo, I'll be back in a minute. Hello. Hey, what's up? Song of shit. Play Stomp 'em in the Nut by Sagifistin. This is a good song, based upon. Sure, I'm also eating food. No, it must be. Something and that's not even remotely the same vibe. I have never heard of them. No, I haven't. And can you please delete my name text PL? I'm not sure what you mean by that one. <laughs> that was for a DM. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, Gouda in the Gouda. Yeah. Alright. So, here's the thing. Last stream, I said I was gonna grind on my own for some more of these challenges. I haven't had the free time to do so. So, we're gonna keep up with that. And then we're going to, um... And then we're gonna... Try to get through chapter one uh, in the Kick Me Challenge. So, yeah, once we do that, we're probably gonna then switch over to the Dankness or Dark or whatever. I'm so sorry, lol. It's all good. It ain't all good. You didn't hurt nobody. You didn't do nothing wrong. It all good in the hood. All right. This is the one with the, the, the demons, if I remember correctly. This, I want to say this shouldn't be too hard, but... Fuck. Damn it. 
I should have seen the counter coming. I should have seen the counter. Oh, of course! Why would you be anything else? Of course she would be three green demons. I need one of them to be purple, because the purple ones don't have that stupid spinning attack. Fuck. Damn it. Yeah, like I said, I didn't want to say this because, like, you can, if you do this right, you'll almost never get hit. But if they all throw your green demons, it's harder. The type of demon they are is random uh, between blue, uh, not blue, purple and green. I think you are always going to have one green one, though. This is not a good idea. Get fucked, nerds! <laughs> oh yeah, this, this can go the way I wanted it to at all! <laughs> that didn't go remotely correct whatsoever. Not, not in the slightest! But you know what? That's okay! That is so okay! <laughs> That didn't go the right way whatsoever. <laughs> that didn't go the way I wanted it to whatsoever, but it's fine. It's fine. They ask you how you I have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. They just can't get into it because you know they would never understand. I can't. <sighs> I need to buy Elbow Vortex, because Elbow Vortex is going to be super, super useful in, like, the immediate future. But, if I buy Crescendo Kick, it could help in, um, it could help in, in a few more of these challenges, even if only a little bit.
eating a quesadilla based. Hello everyone. Now I want quesadilla. I will pack. Well, sorry. <laughs> That's funny. We are uh, working on getting to the Kick Me Challenge Wolf Pack. Uh, the only thing is I didn't have time to grind these uh, challenges off stream. But we've still got a few of these to do. Addiction to food where I have to eat daily, like three times a day. Well, I think that's normal. Oh, lol. Jean has a thing for tall women. <laughs> Either the women are tall or Jean is Tom Cruise height. I'm pretty sure he's taller than Olivia, so I think they're- I think the women are just tall. Because I think he's the same height as Elvis and, uh, and he's taller than Olivia. And I'm pretty sure he's also the same height as Devil Hand. Need. Oh, fuck. of course you would show up at this fucking challenge, Nefto! Of course you would! <laughs> of course you'd show up at the challenge with fucking thing, way. <laughs> Necro, how's it going? He's mud and fuck, bitch. Damn it. <laughs> yo, Necro. Yo, Heyo. 
He thought he was going to be able to... Kick you with the kick me challenge. Alright, we gotta try again. We might... Uh, I might need to go buy, uh, buy another move. We almost got it, though. If I hadn't gotten... Uh, oh, fuck. Come on, come on. No, you fuck. So annoying. Of course that would be the guy I can spawn in. I was trying to get more of the smaller guys so I could take them out with the god hand and focus solely on the uh, the other Fang Wei looking guy. And I lost. That grab is what's is what's killing me. Well, obviously that's what killed me, but it's because it takes up so much time off the clock. That and the stupid runaway tactic. Fuck off, Emmy. Yeah, I lost. It's run- is run away too much. You have too much on the clock. Damn. Well, he just wailed on yo junk. It's true. Yeah, we need another. We need something else. We, we need another move so I can do more damage faster. Because it takes just one. If I get grabbed by that. Uh, if I get grabbed by that one time, we lose. Because of how much time it eats up. Pretty sure I have enough for Elbow Vortex. 
But I want to try and get a little bit more just to be safe. button but it didn't do it in time. Shit. I had the god hand button but it didn't activate fast enough to give me the iframes. Nope. Your shit, Joe. <laughs> no. It's gonna hit the wrong one. Fuck. I need you to focus on the literally one enemy left in the ring. Oh my god, it's so tired today. Was a little rough. Alright. Apologies for my throat sounding all dry and scratchy. It's uh, really, really hot in here. Mm. Might need to get a third fan for this room. Um, I know it is three fans, yeah, yeah. Hold on, there is something I can do, though. That should at least help cool me off a little. Okay, now where was I? The Junk Whalers sound like a band. Better name than the Jizz Whalers. That sounded vaguely sexual, but I am not sure as to why. I need more moves and just a tad bit more health for you. Uh, what about Doc? Alright, we got another fight with Dr. Ion. Good. This should. This will give me more than enough.
the doctor in because it hurt when I do this. Oh dear god. <laughs> okay, it really hurts when you do that. Really, 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 really hurt. Get unlucky one time, and then it's just downhill from there. <clears throat> okay. Fuck. What's the temperature where you are? Like, 90-something, probably. Never mind. Uh, uh, it's 83. It feels like 90-something. Sucks, though. I hate the heat. Anyway. The Jizz Whalers is the actual name of a Star War of the Star Wars Cantina Band. The clams. Man, Nicola has lost her head this time. You kicked him apart. <laughs> okay. Um, we need more. We need to be able to do more damage for some of these. Hard. It's just really fucking hard because I don't want to put too much stock into heat and stuff to do the challenges because as soon as this is over, we won't be able to use them anymore. That's the problem. I love the heat, but I'm weird. Noise. Bar 
Baka is cow tongue and sheep. And it's fucking good. Of course, I was hoping we'd get lucky. And there'd be something there I forgot to sell. And as uh, Simon Magender would say, I have good mouth feel. I love to hear and or I love the heat and I hate the cold, but lately it's been crazy hot. Yeah, heat sucks. Objectively. Alright, now I could... I could buy the kick combo. I could buy more health. Or... I can put my money into Crescendo Kick and maybe be able to do two more uh, challenges if I'm really, really, really lucky. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna save here and we're gonna give Crescendo kick a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. And we're gonna see if we can squeeze out a couple more of these challenges. Because we literally haven't even started yet. I hate the cold. Same. I'm a tough dude, but when it comes to cold weather, I turn into a complete pussy. Two sissies. Going back to work. Later, Necro. Thanks for popping in. Don't put your money into Crescendo Kick. Spend your money on NFTs. Be smart, Emily. Later's Necro. Okay. Really? Stupid fucking controller. Comes disconnected if you move it slightly wrong. Alright. Might be able to get this one. I just have to be really, really careful. Oh fuck. No. Cause that's an instant kill. That is going to be a, a pretty much instant kill. We have to kill him first because he's got that stupid punch move. The one that I was aiming at, game. Now I have to hope to God that he never grabs me 
and that the red guy never does the low kick he has. Because both are instant kills now. I thought our health was going to be too low, but it's fine. I've never been able to spin out of it in time when my health is that low. Holy shit, dude! Oh shit! Oh my god! Read the chats that I missed. Later, Neko. Smile face emoji. Hey, Emily, what's up? Smile face emoji. Hello, Guardian. How are you? How is your Tuesday? Hello, wave emoji. Killed with one punch to the newt. Accurate. I'll say it again. The sweep Jean has is so weak, it wouldn't be able to knock over a two-year... Oh, we'll be able to knock a two-year-old over IRL. Oh my god, you made me jump. Look at that. Shout, Emily. Lol. I tried. That scream made me jump. With your GG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Now let's try this one. Oh shit! I'm doing okay. So hold on. Fuck. You are the worst. Do you know that? You just run away. And it's so lame.
Ah, he's gonna fuck. Oh, you fucking piece of shit! Go fuck yourself, fucking Shokan demon. I'm doing good. Uh, ate dinner not too long ago. Also, been working on a martial arts fantasy story. Based, based. Very cool, very based. That's kind of what this game is, actually. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> You are the worst enemy type. Half of what you do is just run away. Fuck your stupid magic pixel of life. Gene, when I hit up triangle, I need you to do the move for up triangle and not fuck me. Fucking goddammit. Ugh. Yeah, th this one sucks. It's, just, it's a little- it's just a little bit of, like, hope they don't just run away all the time. And get lucky. If you're wondering why I don't use the god hand, it's because that blue one, the third one you fight, it has a move that is literally just, I'm going to cheat and do the animation for one attack and then actually do another one. So I need to save the god hand for that one because it's unpredictable. God damn it. And of course I can't die in time, son of a bitch. Funny thing is that my main inspiration for... It is the Yakuza series. Some of the characters in it are pretty inspiring. Are inspired by certain Yakuza characters. Fucking awesome. I love Yakuza. Kiryu is my uh, freaking spirit animal. Oh, freaking spirit animal. My bad. I'm so goddamn hot in here. I might have to adjust my window unit a little.
Oh, fuck right off. Oh, now you want a guard. Fuck. I can't see it. And I'm dead. Son of a bitch. Yeah, this one I normally do with much more health. But we can't put that in right now. And we can't put that money into health right now. We're gonna need it for combos as soon as that actual challenge starts. Fuck, I hit it too late. Son of a bitch. Well, we already lost. Oh, it didn't even give me the counter that time. Yeah, we lost. Yeah, we already lost. I'll give it one more try, and then I think I'm gonna accept we just need more health to do it. Which means we unfortunately won't be able to get it done. You are the worst enemy type in the fucking game. I hate, hate, hate enemies that just run away. That didn't kill you. was worth a try. We, we gave it a try. There is another one we can do, but it's entirely random chance. Uh, 
before and if uh, I'm gonna give this a couple shots and then we might um because <clears throat> we need to at least make uh we need to at least make a little bit more than we had to spend to get the moon out with pack one same here Kiryu is one of my favorite protagonists even in a uh oh ever in a game and the series is one of is one that I absolutely enjoy. I started with Zero back in 2017, and I'm very thankful I checked it out. I think Zero was the first one I played as well. The first one I ever saw was Yakuza 4, I think? Or Yakuza Dead Souls. And then I think I watched Dark Side Phil play Yakuza 5. It actually got me into... JRPG titles from Persona, Shin Megami Tensei, Final Fantasy, and many others. Hell yeah, Kiryu is uh, unfaulting 100% unwavering in his ideals. Cool, I've always loved JRPGs, but yeah, I can see Yakuza getting people into the Japanese culture and media due to how great Kamarocho is depicted. Makes you want to move. Gims are OP in this game. Lol. At Wolfpack 1. Japanese culture is a big influence for the world. Matsu, the world story takes place in. Also, the title is called She of the Green Dragon. Noise. What time period is it set in? Damn. At Wolfpack 1, it's supposed to be like modern day. Large cities look like how modern cities do while villages on the countryside look more Edo period. Like, uh, like and the tech is also reminiscent of modern tech. The lore for it is actually kind of deep law. I completely understand that. I've been writing... I've been writing stories for nearly 15 years now, and uh, if I ever was to put pen to paper, there'd be a lot of stuff to write. Just ask my brother. That's cool. Alright, so for this, here's the thing. It's kind of random chance. If I'm gonna be able to beat this. I need them to do a specific move for me. One mistake. Bring it on. Damn it. Uh, I might have actually been able to do it there because they were on a line. I need them to get all in a line or I need them to stack on each other. And if they do that, I can use crescendo kick to kill them all except I think Jester. Or Joker. Fine. Damn it. Yeah, because with this health, I'm not going to be able to kill them all. Because there's just too many times they can get you off screen.
yet. You see what I mean? There's just too many different ways they can get you from off screen or from where you can't really get a good angle on them. So I need them to get off. I need them to group up so then I can percent or kick them because that does enough damage to kill them all. Fuck off. Damn it. But I'm also trying to build up heat, because if I can build up enough heat, I can loop them. Fuck. No, 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 no. No, fuck. Alright, hold on. To put it simply, she is a major part of the world, and 50% of the female population are able to use she as power. Those women that can use Chi abilities are referred to as goddesses. Many of the main characters, including Ama, correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, are goddesses. Interesting. Like I said, what I need them to do, because of the current health I have, If I need them to get together... Come on, come on. Fuck. Come on, just give me the fucking first bit of heat! Fucking goddamn! go. As for the antagonist, it's a female demon race called the Sirens. They're essentially the dark uh, counterparts to the goddesses. It's supposed to be reminiscent of Oni demons from Japanese mythology. I've studied she in real life. I have determined she is not a supernatural of course, but she can be summoned by oh, up to your breathing control while fighting. That's just real life though. Breathing control is extremely hard and important when fighting. Hi Emily. Hello kitty cat. 
I like this little fight. The only problem is it a little too short. I've recorded all I need for the new Goosebumps gallery. Awesome. Based. I can't wait to see it. Any estimate on when it'll come out? Question mark, question mark. At Wolfpack 1. Makes sense. Breathe and exhale too, uh, too quick and you're using oxygen really fast, which you really need. Whoa, Kimberly the Pink Rangers. That's hotter than I remember. <laughs> The rangers have attitude. At Guardian. Yep. No matter what much uh no matter what mumbo jumbo they try to explain it as it sums up to breath control. Even if they don't know that's what they're talking about. GG Emily. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We've made back more than we spent. Unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, finagle enough uh, to get our full main combo. Something I probably should have focused on was getting Hammer of a God. Because Hammer of a God is going to be really, really helpful really, really soon. And with Hammer of a God, we could cheese the fight with the, uh, the Master. <laughs> But we don't have a choice now. We also need to focus on getting Godbreaker soon. And a better launcher. And I need to get high sidekick 3 as well. So we can put as much damage on that kick as possible. Fuck, dude. Seven points. At Wolfpack 1. It's also why you don't want a bodybuilder, a bodybuilder like Muscles in a fight, since you will use lots of oxygen as well. What was the name of the puppet from Goosebumps? That was Slappy. Slappy the Dummy. My nephew was obsessed with that at one point and wanted to be a ventriloquist. That was Slappy. Gladly he grew out of that. Have you tried the Starship Troopers game? I've heard of the Starship Troopers game, but I've never played it. I don't know if it's on... or I don't Actually, I don't know what it's on. I think it's on, like... 360 and PS3, which means if it's on there, I'd have to, it'd have to have a Steam port for me to play it, because I don't have a 360 or PS3 anymore. I've considered buying a new PS3, or not PS3, but no, I have considered buying a new PS3, even though Sony is a shit-ass company and they made it a lot harder to be a PS3 user, um, but I've also considered buying uh, a new Xbox 360, or sorry, it's Xbox 360. I'm gonna slip that I didn't mean to slip up like that. Uh, I mean, out of that, at Guardian, exactly, you get it. Oh yeah, Slappy. Yeah, Slappy the Dummy was, uh, was its name, or was the puppet's name. And then Slappy had a bride, who I think was named Mary Ellen. Okay, so the thing is, High Sidekick 3 would be good, but also... So would Mech Jab too. The problem is, there's not a ton of challenges left that can give us good stuff. We might have to try for these, uh, gentlemen. Even though this fight is hard. This fight is hard when you have max health.
Fuck. As for you! Fuck. Fuck. This is gonna be really hard. God damn. My defenses are Oh, that was close. The uh this October, I plan to do a bunch of reviews on the bad goosebumps tales. I need to cross them off. Also, forgot to mention oh hold on. Also forgot to mention Matsu is split into four kingdoms. Uh, you're gonna have to correct me if I pronounce these wrong. Uh, Kawazao, supposed to be, oh, hold on. Supposed to be like Japan. Nanzao, supposed to be like China. And the Renkasan and Sukai which are supposed to be like North and South Korea. That's good. Just the Asian continent alone in real life is ripped into, oh, is ripped with lore, or ripe with lore, and to take inspiration from. At Wolfpack 1, absolutely. All right, we're going to try again. I fudged up a little bit near the end. We need to try and get both of them with the crescendo kick so I can burn through their health as fast as possible. But when an opportunity presents itself... Fuck. Never mind. Never mind about an opportunity presenting itself. <laughs> That's you very much. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> yeah, with my health the way it is, I gotta kill them both at the same time. So I can focus all my remaining energy on the second guitarist.
damn it. Oh god. Oh god. That didn't go so good. Death and counting. I plan to try and an add of an add variety to the bad goosebumps episodes. At Guardian. I see you said some dusk what? I see you did some dusk diver too. I played a small bit of it along Oh, sorry. I played a small bit of it. I thought it was the only one that knew that game even existed. Every time I ever mention Dusk Diver 1 or 2, no one knows what I'm talking about. I don't think I've heard of that. I've heard of Dusk. Damn it! I wanted to get the eye frames before I got up. Fuck you, double thief. Damn. I wanted to get more time, but it just it, it, the game just said no. <sighs> this is really tricky. Like I said, this one's hard when you have full health. But at the health I've got right now, I pretty much have to kill them at the same time. Game. That works. God damn it. Please don't go from Fuck! Why can't you just get phased, you fat piece of shit? Why can't you just get fucking phased? Oh my god. That was so close.
damn it. Stunk. Yeah, I might just have to suck it up and buy health. Which I really, really shouldn't be doing. God damn it. Oh my god, why is this coming up to be so long? Alright, hold on. Uh, oh my god, why is coming so giant? I want to do an app ev uh, everyone loves, but I hate since most hated shame and what? Hold on. I want to do an episode. I want to do an episode everyone loves, but I hate. Stein's most hated shame, a so bad it's good one, and a universally despised episode. I'm trying to think what ones those could be, because out of the ones you've already done, I think you've covered most of the ones that, like, normally get brought up when I hear people talk about episodes they, like, straight up hated. Alright, we're gonna try this guy. Alright. Um, yeah, like I said, we might have to just suck it up. Buy health. And then try again. We might have to just take the L. It's, it's, it's whatever. We might just have to suck it up and start the challenge. And not get any money. It's fine. I love Dust Divers 1 and 2. I actually played the first last year when... It was on sale on Switch. Oh, that shit, that reminds me. I gotta buy X-Blades while it's on sale on, um, the Steam on Switch. Was really surprised with how good it is, especially Dust Divers 2, which really improves it. I played 1 and I need to finish 2. I really did like 1, but it was so long ago I barely remember most of it at Wolfpack. Also, yeah, I streamed some of it, though I stupidly forgot to upload some footage when doing a Twitch stream. I'm planning on just streaming on YouTube instead to avoid this when I go back to it. Um, depending on what you're using to stream, it's, um, it's, it's actually really, really easy to stream to YouTube. If you have a PlayStation, you can just stream directly to YouTube. Xbox used to let you do that, or no, they didn't. They let you stream directly to Twitch, and then they took it away, And but now you can do it again, which is why I'm going to eventually do Xbox streams on Twitch, just for those backwards-compatible console exclusives like Shadows of the Damned and Asura's Wrath and Enchanted Arms and stuff. DD2 is really fun, even if it can be grindy. The combat is so much fun that I don't mind grinding for hours. Crescendo kick, lol. Cool, I'll jump back into it eventually. At Wolfpack. Also, my commentary is really bad. <laughs> mo 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 chaka. Mo chaka. <laughs> mo chaka. You can hear my stupid ass making commentary right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has the right to call themselves bad when they hear when they see how I do this like do this YouTube shit. I suck at this, and this is the closest thing I have to a job other than selling video games on the internet. <laughs> nah, I am sure you are fine. I am sure you are a okay. I am sure you are a-okay. It's chaos time.
teman-teman Don't act like you don't like a ball of time. Ball of time! My arm, my arm, my arm, my arm will summon up the powers of the god hand. Gotcha, biatch! <laughs> All good, lol. Thanks, lol. Also, I hope you enjoy the rest of DD2. Oh, hold on, let me make sure I didn't get a... Definitely want to... Oh, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna do it eventually. Also, my commentary is back, mostly because I make way too many... <gasps> I love DSP jokes. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to play the game. Bug bugged fucking uh fight mechanics, man. Come on. I died for nothing. Nothing even hit me. I never fucking failed the mission. <laughs> Thanks for the money, dummies. Thank you, you fucking worthless humans, for the view. Ah, <laughs> uh, DSP. DSP is one of my favorite subjects. <laughs> I, I really desperately need the money. I need that money. I really do. I need that money. To pay my bills? To help with my tax situation? 50 bitch here. 50 bitch there. 50 bit bitch. Raise your hands in the air. <laughs> it makes me cringe. It's something I definitely want to avoid or at least tone down. All good lol. At Wolfpack. Thanks lol. Also, I hope you enjoy the rest of D2. BRBMs. Alright, Wolf well, Pat. Would you ever stream Alien Isolation? Uh, I played that when it was brand, brand new. I have not played it since then. I have considered playing Alien vs. Predator, the, uh, the one from 2000 and the one from 2010. Which I, because I do own that game, I just never got around to it. Ermac looks awful. He looks like a mummy. Uh, I don't think he looks like a mummy. I think he looks like Abe Sapien. But you are you are correct. He looks awful. All the men in fucking uh, Mortal 1 Combat MK12 look awful. I genuinely don't think there's a ma okay, Maybe fucking Kung Lao. Maybe Kung Lao has, a, has the, the nice outfit. Everybody else either looks way too basic, or looks way too samey. Or just has some, like, ugly thing about their design that just ruins it. The women look kinda of better, but some of them are looking okay, like Katana, Melina, and others are looking way too basic, like, uh, like Li Mei. Reiko looks okay, I guess. Thanks, Emily. I appreciate it. Love. Going back to my Green Dragon story, there are non-goddess characters that are important as well. Most uh, notable, sorry, I can't read. Ones being the Reiko family. 
and the Yuji family. The Reikos are a family that Ama bonds with and eventually becomes a second family for her after Ama lost her parents in a siren attack. As for the Yu as for Yuji, he's a non-goddess soldier and a childhood friend of Ama. He was trained by Minu, Ama's mother, and I like to use pee jokes as well. <laughs> you fucking walk back and shot bullets. You're a fuck. Come on, man. Do you want to play the fucking game? Here, come on. Just kill me. Kill me. Come on. Keep hitting me, asshole. Come on. Get your perfect, because this is how you want to win. No, you're the bitch, because you don't play a fucking fighting game, you stupid cocks. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking DSP. In China, they say it's a kitchen! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Well, now that you've brought- Now that you've brought in China, they say it's a question! <laughs> Now that you brought in China Day Say into the conversation, now I can bring Isaac Heimler into the situation. <laughs> Emily, have you ever seen Airplane? Uh, I did see Airplane once when I was in high school. What's up, Captain Lunar? I got a fever and the only cure is more beat em ups. Kojima is a fucking cocksucker! <laughs> Quote DSP. Fuck you, Capcom. No, what was the fucking uh, Tony, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5? More like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater fucking die! Fuck you, Activision. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I needed that. That was funny. <laughs> oh god. That doesn't go so good. Sonya Blade's new look is about as forgettable as ever. Uh, Sonya Blade's new look is about as forgettable as everyone else's. Well, her look. Okay, you know, she's a cameo fighter. Her look isn't actually new. Her look is a slightly modernized MK1. At least from the, what they've shown of the of her as a cameo fighter, like honestly, the cameo fighters, I don't I don't actually mind the way they look, aside from the ones that are also playable because they all look fucking like lame as shit. But like Sonya and Striker look fine, mostly because they look very similar to uh, MK Classic. Like hers is fine. Hers is actually one of the ones I have the least problem with. Like, don't get me wrong. I would like her to have something really, really new, or like something new. Maybe something more along the lines of Deadly Alliance, back when Sonya had good outfits. Yes, it has been over a decade since Sonya had a decent outfit. Fight me, but fight me with your wrong opinion. <laughs> Son uh, Sonya's last good outfit was uh. The one she had for... Was the one she had for Deadly Alliance, I should say. Oh, you little fuck. I hate these guys. I need to kill them fast, but I don't have Hammer of a God.
Yeah, I might just not have enough health. Okay, yeah, we may have to take that L on this one. Also, Miru became a mother figure for Yuji as he lost his mother at a young age from sirens. Sonya looks super hot in MK9. Yeah, but her outfit isn't fitting of her character. Her outfit looks like if you got if you went to a strip club and their theme was veteran uh, was veterans appreciation or something. She doesn't look like Sonya is the problem with her MK9 outfit. Like not all the outfits in MK9 are bad. Melina's is excellent. And Scarlet's was too for her uh, for her story at the time. But the problem is the outfits for MK9 focused way too much on the sexy and oh not enough on the is this actually something this character would wear? The men did not get that treatment, which is why a lot of the men's outfits look really good. Like Sub Zero, Scorpions, and Noob Cybots. But don't get me wrong, the men in MK9 did have some stinkers, like Ermac's default design, and Smoke's default design. And Quan Chi got no thought put into his at all. His was just, let's port over the same outfit he's had since uh, Deadly Alliance. And they didn't even give him his MK4 outfit, or its combat variant, as, um... As an extra for us. That was lame. Alright. Uh, we gonna try the fight with the old man. If we can win, then that's great. And we got enough money, we'd be able to buy, uh... Um, you, you fucker. I don't have enough, fuck. Uh, yeah, just kill me. Yeah, just, just kill me. Yeah, just kill me, I don't have enough to beat him. I need a lot more power to actually hurt him. To actually hurt him when he does that. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Never fucking mind. After training for a few years, Yuji and Ama would see each other for a time or wouldn't see each other's time due to him and his father moving to a different part of Kawanzao. That's far from Ama's um, family where for a while he lived. I figured Sonya's stripper look was an intentional decision using her looks to distract opponents so they would cooperate when she beats them. Kinda like Chun Li in Street Fighter 2. Hey Chris. That would make sense if she was like a secret agent, like a like an Ada Wong or a Black Widow, but she's not. She she's a boots on the ground type soldier. Careful, Emily. Them fighting game coomers <laughs> are gonna come for you talking about their sexy stuff. <laughs> We're all classy, sophisticated here. <laughs> nah, nah, cat. There are plenty of people in the fighting game community who are exactly as Chris described them. Coomers who need to get a, um, Need to get their rocks up to virtual women. There, there are there are plenty of people like that in the in the fighting game community. 
Why do you think it was so hard to, uh, to have a reasonable discussion about costumes and stuff when MK11 was coming out? Because you had so many idiots pretending like the, like, the issue was that they couldn't masturbate to the sexy women on the screen. That wasn't the issue. The issue was that they didn't fit the characters and that there was a double standard in the game for how the men could dress compared to the women. <clears throat> that was not only insulting to men, but insulting to women as well. That was the actual issue. But you had so many motherfuckers arguing that it was an issue about what they want to pleasure themselves to, that it completely ruined the discussion and destroyed almost any possibility of getting across the real issue. Also, I think we're just going to have to take the L. But because of that L, let me see something. Because if I do this challenge correctly, we'll get 20 bucks. But Emily, everyone in gaming has crushes on virtual hotties. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so hold on a second. Um Oh there yeah, there's no way I'm getting that 70 to get this one. But we can at least get this. I could have also probably used that to get myself uh, started on getting the last move in my combo. But we just gonna take the L on that. But Emily, everyone in gaming has crushes on virtual hotties. Ama and Yuji would see each other again during the Siren Invasion after some... Oh, after some time fighting together, Ama would then finally reveal her feelings to him which is the start of their relationship. Plus their whole, the sexy stuff isn't what you would wear in real fight, got debunked when you consider Jade was basically in heels. Well, also you gotta remember that like, women fighters exist. Like you can look at like just women who fight in say like MMA or, or wrestling or something. You wanna have like, it's better to not have, clo like, clothing that you can, like, grab onto and can restrict your movement. That's just objective reality. And historically speaking, women who, like, were in, like, who were warriors and in combat and did things like that would dress more sexually charged because, like Kat was talking about earlier, it was a way to distract a male opponent because, no offense, to, to, no offense to, to the men, but men typically are more subject to the distraction of arousal when it comes to like when it comes to women. No, no offense, no offense to men, but it's, it's just it's just true. When, uh, well, wait, not men. Men are are just more easily kind of like allured by that sexual arousal. It is a way to put a man off kilter and off focus. That like that's a real thing that actually works to the benefit of women. Satana and Catwoman in Injustice both fight to the death in and battle in high heels. Yeah, exactly. That's why that was that's why the arg that's why the, a lot of the arguments people were making were really dumb. It's cuz you could point to like the heel example, because the thing is, um, heels are hard to walk around in, and especially hard to run and fight in. Yeah, and the funny thing is, the older outfits do resemble some female wrestling gear, and it's true. All right. I think we're gonna take our L on this. We're gonna accept we just ain't getting any more challenges done. We did what we could do. Now it's time to actually start the challenge. How long have I been here? Two hours? Let's stay in that hotel. <laughs> About two hours. 
Yeah, yeah about day. two hours, and now we can uh, actually start. Much better. Gene, are you listening? Ah, have fun. Got nothing to do with me. Impossible. Must be hunting season. It's time to get to business, Gene. All right, now we can actually start. Let's go. <laughs> what the hell? Huh? Check your back, smart ass. Son of a bitch. Damn it, Olivia. <laughs> All right, now we got to be really careful here. You're not there. You motherfucker. Okay, so now, uh, to explain what the kick me challenge actually is, you see the kick me sign on my back? I have to keep that on for the entire game. To do that means I have to complete the game without using any God Hand abilities. Fuck off, give me a reversal three. <laughs> Fuck you, Gab! <laughs> Emily, you any closer to completing your uh, show slash movie list? Unfortunately, no. I have had very little to no free time. The most of the free time I get during the days now is when I'm eating. Oh, you... Fuck you, game. Oh wait, do you mean my watch list? Or do you mean my lists that I was gonna make for the YouTube channel? Cause those could be very- <laughs> No. Predictable. Shit. 
gotcha. Damn. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, I thought I would get him in the disability frames. I meant to ask, does your line of work have positions open? Uh, no, I am self-employed. <laughs> Uh, I am self-employed. I sell stuff on the internet and to local retro stores. I sell video games, comic books, and other nerd shit. <laughs> that is what I do. <laughs> it is not a fancy... Uh, it is not a fancy work. It is fun work, though. And it provides me access to things I enjoy. Because everything I sell, I also collect. To a degree. I don't collect comics anymore. Because collecting comics is annoying. Nice. <laughs> Shit. No! What is your job, Emily? Uh, I sell stuff. <laughs> I sell stuff on on uh, eBay and to local retro game stores. I don't earn a lot of money at all. Uh, I really only earn very little, <laughs> but it is enough to uh, it is enough to survive, and I get to indulge in all the things I enjoy. Wow, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it'd be like that. <laughs> that is what I do to make money. It's not really a job per se, because I'm not making enough money to call it a real job. Uh, in my personal opinion, if I'm being a thousand percent honest. And it's not like a thing I'm doing super consistently. I ain't making giant profits, because most of what I buy uh, stuff I buy to use. Like, um, a lot of the, like, a lot, like, just about every game you see me play on the channel is a game I own, or have played in the past. Like this game, for example. I own two copies of this game, and they were both, uh, circling $200. The most expensive game I've ever Bring bought, though, on. was Rule of Road. Which was, uh, five hundred and eighty-two dollars. Oh, fuck. I've always loved video games, Barbies, and, uh, horror movies, so I have a very wide collection of all those things. Time for a little fun. fun. There we go, yeah, 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 I just want you. 
bring it on. Nice. Done. It's your job in me where you're so cool. Perfect harmony. Modern comet suck now anyway. Who the fuck means <laughs> don't fucking say it first? I'm back with doing some chores. Faint. Um fun uh fun uh funny thing about that though, kitty cat, is the um the Snowflake and Safe Space comic got cancelled. That never came out. But I do agree with you, modern comics suck. The only characters I really keep up with are like not the big or like not in the big two. Like that new darkness thing, that new witchblade thing that those are that are coming out. I care about those and I'll, I'll be interested in those. I don't really give a shit about anything DC is doing. When it comes to Marvel, That's I'll pay attention to the grander the universe, and I'll I'll occasionally catch up on Spider-Man. But Spider-Man has sucked ass for like the last almost I've fifteen years. The possession of the God Hand. Sure about that? I can feel it. Look at his left arm. He is a god hand. God hand is so blasé. Call me the devil hand. I don't care what you call yourself. I don't trust dirty humans. Whoa, 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 that's vaguely Your racist, sir. Is so incredibly stubborn. Humans will be nothing but worker bees creating honey in our paradise. Also, wall uh, green dragon can be lighthearted. It can also be pretty dark. Men. So many uses. They can be such wonderful toys. You local chica, no way! Let me deal with this human cabron. Ugh, shut up, fat ass! Get your legs off my table! For example, one of the main goddesses is Celine. Elvis, is an ex-assassin, but the after God killing an innocent family, under the guise You're of, the boss. <laughs> under the guise that the mother was a goddess, Yakuza target, she left her former Yakuza group and gained PTSD as a result, causing her to hallucinate the family she killed. Oof. Damn it. We don't have enough. Let's see if we can finagle this. Shit. We need six more thousands. Let's see if this can be finagled. Miss Marvel sucks the worst. I don't, I don't think you've been reading. I don't think you've been reading Spider-Man lately. <laughs> I don't think you've been reading Spider-Man lately. Miss <laughs> Marvel died <laughs> in Spider-Man. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of well, like I said, I think most, most everything. Mo <gasps> I could have done this one with the health upgrade I got. Fuck. Come on.
I might still be able to do this with Hammer of a God, but I need Hammer of a God and God Breaker. Another character that also has a pretty dark backstory is Tara. She's a tomboy from Rankinson who has a very, very rough upbringing. Before I continue, I should mention the... Rankinson treats non-goddess uh, goddesses like second-class citizens, which goddesses are treated or where goddesses are treated pretty well. Shit, dude! I could have done that one and got extra money before we started. I still wouldn't have enough to get the move I'm wanting to get right now, but oh, that would have been three thousands. Damn it. Alright, we have no choice but to continue. Hopefully we get enough from, uh, from this one. Shit, without the full combo I might not be able to get, um, to do the challenge on here either. That'll put us back, that'll put us back like a collective 10,000. Predictable. An Alexander. Oh, you little fuck. You are the worst enemy type. All you do is run away. I despise you. The goddess that was bullied constantly in a goddess-only school 
and then she comes home, her mother abuses her and treats her horribly. Tara's father died when she was four years old, so she doesn't remember him. The trauma from school and home would constantly uh, bring Tana, sorry I, I read that wrong before, to tears with her a uh, thing that such can just meet one night person one nice person in her life this wish came true when she met a boy named all right hold on Fuck off, my guy. Fuck off. Fuck right off, my guy. Whatever, I got my health back. I still haven't got a second roulette card. That's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. I can't use them, but it's still Boy. annoying that it's not there. No, I gotta be careful. If I go over there, it can trigger the next cutscene, which I really don't want to do. We need to beat as many of the enemies as possible. Okay, good. We got just enough to get the move we need. And like I said in the first part, you can parry moves, it's just difficult. No, I don't want to knock him into the, into the villager. That'll be bad. Predictable! Seriously? Seriously? I just fought through all these motherfuckers, and your ass hands me this? Fuck you! Fuck you, villagers! Sure I'm fucking not to that to me! Tai Chi. The two would become really close friends and eventually enter a romantic relationship. One second. Because there is a clear time I need to pause. The two then promise one day to uh, leave Rankasan and live a new life together. However, the bullies from school, uh, the bullies from town of school, would run across Tai Chi and not only bully him but even sexually assault him. When he attempted to fight back, he is put into a coma when one of them hits him with a pipe. K 
kick me. Yes, it is the kick me challenge, ZT. Also, hi, ZT. Hey, I'm the blue heart emoji. Hi, ZT. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I cheated. I cheated because I knew if I cheated, I was gonna remember to fucking save. And I did remember to save, so... We have a slightly better combo of than we would have. But Jesus, it is still difficult, as it should be. Learns of Tai Chi being in a coma and finds out it was the boys from school. She would then train to uh, in secret to fight, eventually confront them, where she would brutally beat them up. Also, Tai Chi sadly died shortly after entering the coma. Sad news, Emily. My friends say jail, world war, uh... Oh, so World War. War World is terrible. I don't know. I'll probably check it out. If I don't check it out when it comes out, I'll check it out when it's on Max for... Not free, but you know what I mean. I don't know. I think the, uh, the movies in the Tomorrowverse have been kind of a mixed bag. Like, I thought the Superman one was nice. I've liked both the Batman ones. I really liked the Supergirl one. I thought the Green Lantern one was okay. I thought the Justice Society one had way too much going on. If you want some blood serum, come and get it. I don't know if that the Doom that came to Gotham movie is part of the Tomorrowverse or not. But I never got around to watching. <laughs> Fuck you. Later, nerds. I'm cured. Thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that part is... It... It makes me, like, upset that I can't just... Uh, shockwave the little, uh... The midget enemy. <laughs> because it, that is my instinct every time. Is to hit him with that shockwave. Oh, fuck. No, son of a bitch. Wait. It's chaos time. Great. Oh my god!
Oh shit. No, 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 no. You are the worst type of enemy in any video game ever. Just die, you piece of shit, motherfucker. Anyways, shortly after beating up the bullies, Tana would then have her mother's house. Uh, though her mother tries to stop her, with Tana standing up to her and brutally beating her up for the years of abuse. I'm gonna head to bed. I have to be up early for work in the morning. Good night, everyone. Night lover of wolves. Catch you later. How's the challenge been treating you? Brendo. It is frustrating, especially every time the fucking demons show up because I have gotten the worst of luck. Every single time a demon has shown up, it has just played the runaway game. I did get a decent amount of challenges done though, so we were able to build up a decent starting combo. I'm still missing some of the moves that it would be really nice if we had. But we gotta work with what we've got. YouTube, stop fucking me. Okay. Uh, with Tonich um, trying to. Uh, with Tana threatening to kill herself, she meets her again, which leaves her mother terrified. It's also here where Tana changes her hair to be spiked backwards and her clothes to leather, her signature. Look in the rest of the series. Now, Doom that came to Gotham is not a part of the Tomorrowverse. Batman becomes a bat demon, and Rachel Ghoul is Cthulhu. It sounds kind of fucking stupid, but maybe I should actually check it out. That is very fair. This challenge has completely kicked my ass. It broke me, but I finished it in the end. I've beaten it on the cons, like on the actual hardware, but I wanted to do it on stream because I always play God Hand anyway. I'm always I play God Hand on ev on nearly every stream anyway. So I figured I might as well do a challenge or something that'd be fun and a little different for everybody. At least I think. At I think it'd be a little fun and different.
All right, now I'm gonna try this challenge, but we'll see how it goes. Because this one is one, without the god hands, you need a really long, really fast combo. And you need to do lots of damage. We got that, and there's a few more boxes I can break for, um, potential food items. Or money. Money is useful, just not as useful as food when we're about to go into a boss fight. Just saying. Thanks, video game. We need to save before every new area, just in case I accidentally hit a button. We do not, under any circumstances, want to have to replay a bunch of gameplay stuff. Panelator learns that the bullies that she fought were part of a local Franks and Goddess gang, one of the Members attempts to kill Tana, but she subdues her and demands to know where the rest of the gang is. With the gang member revealing that there is an alley a couple blocks away, Tana would locate the hideout and beat up the gangsters. While beating up the leader, Tana then rambles that goddesses and women in general are the same and she won't trust them again. This is supposed to be where kind of develops a sexist attitude against women and goddesses, which is a major part of her caricature. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait a second. Hmm, I think I might have enough for sidekick, uh, for high sidekick three and mech jab two. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna try one of the challenges again. Cause it's just barely any more money, but it's so it's all so helpful. Especially since we're going into a boss fight with below half health. After defeating the gang, she finds a motorcycle that belongs to the leader and steals it, which is what she uses through this series as well. Is this the midget? I think this is the midgets. I'm pretty sure this is the minutes. If it is, we probably could. Oh no, this is these suckers. Okay. And fuck you.
come on. Shit, 28 seconds. Damn. Ugh. So fucking close. God damn it. That is so annoying. How can you defend Beware My Power? Because it was fun. I, I like Jon Stewart as a character. I'm more attached to him as the Green Lantern than I am Hal Jordan. I liked his story arc in the film, even if I do feel like... I understand the complaints that you have with that movie, and I do feel like, along with the um, the Justice Society movie, it's it's rushing too much, like of the universe, and it's trying to build it off screen. And I, I I'm not a fan of that. I also think killing off the Green Lantern Corps was a mistake from a world building angle. But I enjoy I ultimately enjoyed the film. I thought it had nice moments. Again, like I said, I'm just more attached to to Jon Stewart as Green Lantern than I am to Hal Jordan. I, I grew up with the DC animated universe. To to me, Jon Stewart is the default Green Lantern. Like I said, I understand the problems you have with it. It's just like like I said, it just it just be that way. May I ask, what exactly are you talking about? They're explaining... Well, they were telling me about uh, about a, a story they were writing. Now they're explaining the different characters and stuff. Explaining that they were telling me a story that they're working on. Uh, fuck, I can't do that one. I can't do that one because I can't use the god hand now. I need fucking, um, what do you call it for that one? This is possible. This is entirely possible to do. If I have to get really lucky, but I, this is possible. It's entirely possible to do, and I have to get really lucky, because he can- if my health gets too low, he gets an instant win attack. But it is doable. <laughs> no. God damn it, I hit the wrong button. Or I didn't hit it fast enough, one of the two. Yeah, if your health gets too low, that grab is an instant kill. His other grab is not an instant kill, even though his other grab at this health will drop me down to zero. And then zoom in. Oh well. It was worth a try. At ZT, it's a martial arts fantasy story that I am working on. I'm explaining one of the side characters' backstories. The one I'm explaining is Tana, a tomboy that, after being abused and 
bullied by a uh, very, very interesting stuff, Guardian. I was genuinely curious as to what you were explaining. Her mother and goddesses, goddesses being women and the only people capable of using she as power, classmates, and developed a sexist attitude and dis distrust for goddesses and women. At ZT, she does slowly start to trust goddesses when she meets with, on, uh, with Ama, sorry, the main protagonist, and the other main goddesses. Warworld makes the same mistake, killing off legendary DC characters for cheap drama and cutting off the world building. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Honestly, I don't really care about spoilers for that kind of stuff. So, uh, if everybody else is okay with it, I'm actually curious who dies. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not gonna buy the DVD. I'll probably just wait for it to come to Max. I saw the, the, the movies I've seen recently were the Barbie movie, and I saw the new Resident Evil Death Island movie. And, and I don't know if I care enough to pay actual hey, money to see another movie. Sweetie, you're not going Fuck, I forgot the costume. You our quiz question. He's such a sexy man. Just my type. I'm not that, not that kind of guy. guy. Question time, sweet cheeks. What's the name of our boss? Elvis. E L V I S. L -V -I -S. Like I give, give a, a shit. shit. Unfortunately, time's, time's up, up, baby. baby. Oh. <laughs> this game is incredible. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm kicking your ass. I didn't move fast enough. But. For a little fun. Time for, for a break. little fun. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Right. You're kicking your ass. Predict, predict, predictable. Oh, speaking of predictable, since it's an S and K reference, ZT, what do you um, what do you think of the Najid trailer for King of Fighters? And have you got any time to play Rashid? I haven't had, I haven't been able to touch SF6 in a while. Xander. Cowboy. Damn. Oh, damn. 
Alfred, you cross-dressing freak! <laughs> That's funny. Well, it makes the same mistake. There are many other characters, but it would take a lot of time to explain them. Ewan McGregor was a garbage chair black mask. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be like that. DC has been trying to push Black Mask here and there like the last couple of years. I don't know. I think it I think it works sometimes. Other times it's just just, just give it up. Uh, how was Death Island? I really enjoyed it. It managed to call back not only to the other Resident Evil CGI movies, but also to the different games. Now, I know Fourth Snake was speculating whether or not this movie would outright confirm if the remakes supplement the original in canon, or if the remakes truly are in their own timeline. Because uh, somewhere, some Capcom person said the remakes, the recent remakes, are in their own Resident Evil timeline. But in this movie, which we know is, um, that res that, um, is canon to Resident Evil 6, or I'm sorry, take, uh, carries on from the canon of Resident Evils 1 through 6, and, you know, Outbreak, and Outbreak 2, and all that jazz. But this movie, which is a direct sequel and continuation to both the events of Raccoon City, but also the events of Resident Evil Vendetta, which, again, carries on from 6, so we know that that's canon um, in-universe, we not only see the designs for Jill and Claire, which are obviously reminiscent of their more recent remake outings, but they show footage in the intro, which obviously the intro sequence, the intro credits are non, it's obviously that's non, you know, that that's not happening actively in the story. It's not something a character is watching, but it's something we're seeing, but they show actual footage from the games and they show footage from RE2 remake and RE3 remake, but they also show footage from Resident Evil 6. And I believe Resident Evil 4, I would have to go back and double check that one. But also at one point in the movie, uh, Pierce Nibbins is referenced directly by Chris when he's um, trying to help Jill uh, with the situation she's dealing with in the movie. So it's not outright confirmed whether or not the remakes have supplemented original two and original three in canon, but it's the I think it's being an implied here that that is a direction Capcom wants to take. But I really enjoyed the movie, like similar to the the, the other technically four of these CGI because that show on Netflix, the Dark Innocent Dark Side, or whatever the fuck it was called, that was a movie. That was intended to be a movie that they chopped up into four parts and called a TV show. That, that, no, I, I refuse to believe that wasn't intended to be a movie. But, um, anyway. I really like Death Island. I recommend it to Resident Evil fans. There's a lot of really nice little callbacks to the games, or at least the games that didn't suck. Um, and there's a lot of nice character moments, and it's super satisfying seeing five of Resident Evil's six primary main characters teaming up together to fight bioterrorism. That was so cool. Yeah, it was really, really cool. Also, my bad, I keep forgetting to give you the pronunciations of kingdoms. Oh, is the case silent? Is it pronounced Huan Zhao? Nan Zhao? Ran Ko San. Ran Ka San. Thank you. Su Kai. You cross dressing freak. Did Jill find the recover? Uh, yeah. Well, Jill recovers from the brainwashing in Resident Evil 5. But this, this movie, canonically, is the first time she's back in the field post-Africa. 
Now, I think that's actually a retcon, because if I remember correctly, somewhere between the releases of Resident Evil 6, or not Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8, also known as Resident Evil Village, um, it was said somewhere that Jill retired from the BSAA because of the PTSD that she had from her time being brainwashed by Wesker. But obviously that's being retconned here as she's back in the field in this movie. It's even brought up in this movie, the Africa incident, and her being uh, brainwashed by Wesker and trying to kill Chris and Sheva. Don't you mean seven primary? No, no, I know what I said. I know what I said. No, I know what I said. <laughs> As Necro once put it, I know what you wrote, I know what I said. <laughs> Shit. This is not good. Please don't tell me my controller disconnected. Oh, thank God. Let's go! go. I'm kicking your ass! I need them for Mr. Gold and Mr. Silver. Give me food, asshole. Fuck off. Damn. I can at least get money. Yeah, I fucked that up too bad. Do you have a Discord, Emily? I do have a Discord. I do indeed. I don't give my Discord out uh, super often, though. I've also considered making a channel server, but I, I don't know if I want to... Because the mods in my Discord server are one of my closest friends, uh, one of my brothers, and my sister. And I don't know if I want to... And I don't know, I don't really know if I want to ask them all to have to actually do stuff, like, do work for moderation. What the? Let's 
Let's go! Right. Kick in your ass! No! No! Predictable! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Whip it good. Fuck. Oh god. Fuck. Baby. No, you fucking piece of shit! I hate you! Um... Damn it. No, 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 Fuck, dude, so goddamn close. What's wrong with moldy old Ethan? Ethan's daughter is likely to be the future or in a oh, in a future RE game. Some fans are joking she's the game's version of Alice. Uh, honestly, how Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil or Resident Evil 8 were. I've made uh, I've made no secret that I'm not a exactly what you call a fan of the more recent games, so them doing something dumb like that wouldn't surprise me. Fuck off. Bring it on. Help. Help. Bring it on. Help. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> we 
We almost got him that time. We'll be going into the fight with more or with less health though, which is really bad. Let's go! Pause and read before I continue. What do you have against RE7, Emily? I respect you, but I thought you would love it. It was a Texas chain uh it as a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. It my problem with Resident Evil 7 is it doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game, and every time it does feel like a Resident Evil game, it feels like a very shallow poor man's understanding of what an actual re of what an actual classic Resident Evil game was like, offering the illusion of classic survival horror rather than the actual elements of classic survival horror. And also, it's just very unmemorable and boring. Wow. In my personal opinion. You fuck. Oh, that was unfair. You fucking piece of shit. You wouldn't fucking get off me so I could do the fucking pummel. We almost got it. That was annoying. Okay, look, it's that thing I needed last fight. You fucking piece of shit. Oh, god damn it. Fuck you. Fuck you and your off screen antics. I gotta be really, really careful. 
The main villains are mutated Sawyers. Unmemorable. We're still quoting Welcome to the Family. Honestly, the best part of Resident Evil 7 was the DLC where you play as the, nice. the brother of uh, Jack Baker. I forgot his name, but that was the most fun thing in that game. Also, what the fuck was up with the- To quote Irate Gamer, what the fuck was up with the enemy selection in that game? Shout out to Irate Gamer, by the way. No, you fucker! Get off me, gold. I love it. Nice. Here I come. You fuck. Just be fucking staggered already! Oh, that's bullshit. Dude. Fucking stagger! Piggy, piggy. Block yourself, Mr. Gold.
Mari 7 came at a good time since it profited off of the cancelled Silent Hills. Uh, cool. That, I, I don't really know what's your, what, what you're, like, what, I don't really know why you, well, I don't really know what you mean. I don't, I don't really know what you, you, you what, what, what you're trying to say with that one. Oh my god. Bayless even loved RE7 since it seemed like a return to form. Though, you'll argue he was relieved after Alice torture to have something half decent. I also thought for sure you'd be a fan of Lady Dimitrescu. Well, dude, okay, hold up. You need to understand something. You really need to understand this. Somebody can like elements of something and still not like the product as a whole. I like- I think Lady Dimitrescu is cool. I like vampires. She turns into a big fucking dragon. That was cool. But I still think the game as a whole is not good and not a, a, an even worse Resident Evil game. I can like elements of something and think the product is bad. Great. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was stressful. Woo! Okay. That was stressful. Hell yeah. We did not get enough to get anything. But that's fine. That's fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because you know they would never understand. Holy God. Look everything coming before. We're probably gonna go for every inch of fucking four hours. just make it sound like RE7 had nothing good to offer at all. You just say dislike it, which feels like you didn't like anything about it. Well, I'm gonna be honest, dude, I really didn't like much of anything about RE7. The, the stuff I liked in RE7 was the DLC where you play as, um, like, where, where you play as, like, the, the uncle and you could, like, punch shit with your lightning hand. But that was the best part of that game for me. Other than that, I didn't have fun with that game. I was fighting really ugly, boring-looking enemies with next to no unique traits or interesting lore about them. The main character is blander than a, like, wet rag. The entire game looks like this just dull, desaturated, Snyder-looking mess. I didn't really jive with anybody's personality. The, I, I guess I liked that, uh, what's your name? Evelyn kind of reminded me of Alma. From fear, which that that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, there's there's that. Uh, there, there there just wasn't a lot I liked in that game. Like I said, everything that it seemed like so much of that game was trying to paint you the illusion of what people thought classic Resident Evil was. 
but in fact it it wasn't it was just, it was a really it was just very linear which you could argue well emily you like resident evil 4 and resident evil 6 and resident evil Rev well revelations isn't that linear it is kind of linear but it's not as linear as like 6 or 4 but you could say well emily you like the those games how come those get a pass well because they have more in they have more interesting stuff going on they're nicer to look at. They have more interesting and entertaining characters. They have more interesting enemy types that require you to at least think somewhat about how to approach the situation. And I actually gave a shit about what was going on. No, you know what? I'll give one other thing that I thought was kind of cool, even though it is, even though it kind of gimps itself. I thought finding the videotapes and being able to play through. Um, those was cool, even if the acting in those was so slept through, it really killed some of the impacts. Like, I, I think of the one where, what's it, where Clancy is, all, is lit on fire, and all he does is, ah, ah, ah. Like, motherfucker, you're on fire. Fucking, like, express something. Liking DLC is something positive. Ethan Winters was... Ethan Winters was a decent Ash Williams. Evil Dead 1 Ash, at least. That was disrespectful. That was disrespectful. <laughs> that was disrespectful. In my personal opinion. I respect your opinion, but I'm only bringing this up since... I make a positive comparison to RE7 in my new Goosebumps vid, since I like it a lot. Yeah, okay, dude, you need to understand this. You can like whatever you want. Y you need to understand this. You can like whatever the hell you want. Just because the- just because the- like, just because the hot vampire girl doesn't like the thing that you like, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. you. You need to accept this because it's reality. You can like whatever the fuck you want to like. You, you gotta let it go. When somebody else doesn't like the thing that you like, you, you, you gotta let it go. And you, you gotta accept that. You gotta accept that sometimes you're gonna get stuff out of something that somebody else doesn't, and sometimes they're gonna get something out of something that you don't. That, that's just the nature of being an individual human being. Just because I don't like something, just because I got nothing out of something, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you for getting something out of something, or for liking it. You have to accept that, because that's just reality. There's nothing wrong with liking something somebody else doesn't. I like Bloody Roar 4, and a lot of people who like Bloody Roar hate Bloody Roar 4. But that was the first game in the series I played, and I still have a ton of fun with it. There ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with liking Bloody Roar 4. There's nothing wrong with liking Resident Evil 7. You just need to accept that you like a thing somebody else doesn't. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. For a little fun. Time for, for a little fun. Ah. I just like bonding with you on the same thing. Like, that's fine, dude. But, okay, okay. I'm gonna take what you just said, and I'm gonna, th and I don't mean this to sound mean, but I'm gonna throw it right back in your face. You already did that. We're both fans of Resident Evil. We already, we already bonded over liking the same subject. Just cause we don't like all the same games in it doesn't make it any less of a bond. That's still something we have in common and still something we can talk about. I respect that you like a thing that I don't. 
a lot of people hate fucking Resident Evil 6. Now, I think a lot of those people are uninformed and wrong, and I, and I can back that with some facts, but, you know, if somebody just doesn't like it, that, that's fine. That's, that's their right. They can still like Resident Evil. Like, there are people who think RE3 Remake is better than original RE3. I disagree with this completely, and I think those people are wrong, but that's fine. Like, this, it, and like, me and ZT, me and ZT disagree on this. I like RE2 Remake better than original RE2. Overall, as an overall package. Now, I think, I, as a game, RE2 Original did it a little bit better. I think it was a little more, a little more unique in its scenario layouts and things like that. But I think as an overall package, RE2 Remake does it better. That's just me. Like me and ZT disagree on that, but we both like Resident Evil. We're both really good friends. Like it's fine. Just because we disagree on one aspect of the subject matter doesn't mean there's anything wrong. You gotta stop thinking that. Like, for ex another example, I don't like Resident Evil Revelations. My older brother does. My younger, my younger brother agrees with me. We don't like it. But my older brother likes that game. My friend Ghost likes that game. But I didn't like Revelations 2. But, and that's fine. We, we still all mutually like Resident Evil. There's just certain games that we like and certain games we don't. Like with Bloody Roar 4, uh, Necro Swanson, who's in here sometimes, he's a good buddy of mine, he fucking hates Bloody Roar 4. He gets actually mad if I compliment Bloody Roar 4. But he and I both like Bloody Roar. He and I both had a lot of fun playing Primal Fury, and even though I don't think he'll admit it, I think he had fun playing Bloody Roar 4 with me. We both like those. We both like Bloody Roar 3. Uh, he's read the mango. I haven't read the mango. I ain't gonna buy the mango. Like, it's all good, dude. We... There's, there's not, like... We can still both mutually like a subject, but not like the same things. Like you were saying yesterday with the Devil May Cry anime. We both are fans of Devil May Cry, but you found it, like, really, really boring. I only found it, like, partially, like, kind of boring. Like, there's just, there's a kind of point midway through where it's just, like, you really can't binge it, in my opinion. But I still like, but we still both like Devil May Cry, and I still think on some level, there's probably parts in the anime that you enjoyed. At least I assume. Yeah, there's nothing, you don't need to agree with everybody on every single thing. If you did that, then you wouldn't be you no more. I still despise Remake Ada. I think she was downgraded severely. She's not as hot, she's not as competent, and her voice acting sucks. Okay, again on the voice acting thing, I think you need to specify you're talking about 4 make, because she has a completely different actress in 2 make. Like, don't get me wrong, you, you can think, you know, you, you can think whatever you want, but I, 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 but if you're talking about that, I, I think you should really specify 4 make, because 4 make Ada and 2 make Ada are different Adas. <laughs> and honestly, I, I tried to cut her some slack when they, when 4 make came out on her voice acting. Like, because the thing with voice acting is it's partially the fault of the actress or actor, but it can also be the fault of the voice director. Like, I can take a per- let me give- uh, give me a second to- Hmm. Let me give a perfect example. You've got uh, Kari Walgren as Katana and Melina in Mortal Kombat 11. Her performance as Katana, mwah, excellent. Not as good as Karen Strassman in my opinion, but that's because I have a bias for Karen Strassman. But her performance as Katana, mwah, excellent, beautiful, fabulous, wonderful, 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 wonderful. But her performance as Melina sucks. 
Hermelina. Hermelina sounds like this. Why the fuck does she talk this way? This really fucking hurts my throat. Can you tell? And it's, it sounds way too cartoonish, way too over the top. Karen Strassman's performance, though, it was more in line with this. Seductive, sadistic, powerful, but also clearly evil and distinct from Katana. Who spoke more, who spoke, um, with a more, you will learn respect, a do, like a dominance to her, but not evil, like a, a, a nobility, where her Melina was still refined and self-respecting, but clearly was in control. But Karen Straussman does Katana like this, respectable, elegant, noble, but then Melina talks like this. And it sucks. And that is not Car- uh, not Karen- not Karen Strassman. That is not fucking, um, Kari Walgren's fault. That is the voice director's fault. That- that is- because Kari Walgren actually has an intro, a Katana Mira intro, where she has an intro where she's supposed to be Melina, but it's a Katana Mira match intro. Where she says, Another clone, Melina? Straight from the flesh pit, sister. And it's really, it's a really nice Melina voice, but then the voice they actually make her do for Melina is like super over, overdone and sounds like, it sounds like she's a pack a day fella. Kind of like Noob, uh, Noob Saibot's shitty Dr. Claw voice. I'll get you next time, Guilie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, um... Yeah, I think when it comes to forming, like, I think it is partially the actress probably not having a great amount of experience in voice acting. But I think it's also partially due to vo the voice direction. But yeah, her the actress is definitely a major step down from RE2, huge step down from RE6 and RE4. RE4 and RE6 had peak Ada. Based. I wish I could pin that comment. That, that was based as fuck. Based. Based in Chaos build. That uh, like, sucks. They damn well better not replace DC Doug. They already did, dude. They already did. Wesker is in RE4 Remake. He Wesker is in RE4 Remake. We hear him talk. We hear him talk. It's not DC Douglas. It's some new guy. Talisa Soto is still an awesome katana. Wish she got time to shine as Melina. They should have brought Talisa Soto and Robin Show back um, for the like. Okay, you know what? I said yesterday I can find next to nothing good in something like MK11. But you know, here's one good thing about MK11. They had that movie pack with Bridget Wilson, Lyndon Ashby, and Christopher Lambert. For Sonya, Johnny, and Raiden, respectively. And obviously, Carrie here, Yuki Tagawa, Shang Tsung. They should have gotten Talisa Soto and Robin Sho back as Katana and Liu Kang. That would have been fantastic. They should have gotten everybody um, as special cameo skins, because Bridget Wilson uh, Bridget Wilson actually made me play as Sonya in MK11, because I can't fucking stand Ronda Rousey's cut the shit. You'll kill us whether we fight or not. Trash. Trash acting. Trash. Absolute trash. Mm. 
Liu Kang chose to cameo as Chun Li's sensei, and a random thug in Dead or Alive. Get your fucking lore right. Get your fucking facts straight. <laughs> Oh, yesterday I was talking about Maximilian, dude. Um, when uh, when Chris was watching this stream, and that's this room. This room you made me think of uh, Maximilian, dude. Quote just now. The uh, remember, kids. Winners don't watch that movie. Time for <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick, 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 kick your ass. I'm gonna rip, 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 rip off your arm. Have, 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 have me a blast. Hand in time. I love how when Phalus has when Phalus has Linden in his movies, he always has to play the Johnny Cage death scene. Speaking of Phalus, he reviewed a movie a little while back with uh, with Daniel Bernhard in it. Time for a little fun. Bring it on. Fuck. I got too late. Mm. Ah, I don't think so. I I love it. Fuck. Can you stop that? I love it. Boring. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Alright, let's go! Predictable. I literally got back what I lost. Actual transphobia. Literal transphobia. Transphobia. That's what that is. That's what that shit is.
Will you please just die? Boring. God. <laughs> okay, back for now. Welcome back, Wolfpack. How is you the doing? Hope you is doing the good. You missed a uh, struggle and kick me challenge. Lots and lots of kick me challenge. Also, I think I just got an uppity date on the next channel arts. Not a goddamn one of you, not a single goddamn one of you motherfuckers could drop me some fucking food. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious right now? Th this is transphobia. This is transphobia. Sorry, Emily, but I get... I get, get to my... Cat nap myself. Glad you are feeling spiffy. Oh, got oh, got to get my cat nap. It's all good, kitty cat. Thank you for popping in, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I was supposed to play two games. We still on the first one. Thank the Christian Christ that these guys do not have low attack. No! 
stop doing that. No food for you. That was bullshit. Fuck this game. This game and it's RNG. Thank the Christian Christ. Time Will you stop that? No, I need you to focus on the one enemy in the room that can kill me instantly! Or don't. Of course. <sighs> that was not my fault. That was the fault of auto-targeting. Unfortunately. Ah, that fucking sucks. We could have won that too if it had just targeted the one enemy that it should automatically prioritize. Nice. I shouldn't have done that.
you little fuck. Keep back, you little bastard. Bring it on. Shit. No card is not good. <laughs> Oh, you suck. Why are you just determined to give me a fucking demon at this part? At least now you got nowhere to run. That should not have hit me. Get fucked, you big green freak! Awesome. Oh my nice. lord Jesus! Fucking finally! Be lurking for a bit. All good. Son of a motherfucker, Biatch Duckwad Taco Tuesday. Son of a biscuit! Actual sad face. Actual sad face. Oh my god! That was so annoying! That was annoying! Are y'all annoyed? I'm annoyed. Let's go show how annoyed we are. Go ahead, try and do me some harm. While you try, I'll just rip off your arm. Money is good. Crap.
All right, so we need to save. To being able to get a good health upgrade. Shit. I just wait. I'm bound to get more than enough for completion's sake for to just get it outright, but still. But then again. I need to get Godbreaker. And I need high side kick three. Still missing two moves from my core combo, but we hopefully will be able to get them soon. I'm going to see if I can finagle another challenge completion. Oh, before we do though, I should save, just in case. We need to save before we do anything. But yeah, once we, um, once we complete this challenge, or not challenge, once we complete this chapter, we're probably going to take a break, partially because we've been playing, uh, partially because it's, well, not we've been playing, um, partially because it's been a, uh, it'll be a good checkpoint to stop in this, uh, for this playthrough, but also because we've been going for four hours. this. Hammer of a God is just a really, really useful ability. I don't know if y'all have picked up on that. Or not. <laughs> if I can just get this fucking this extra money, I could get some health to fight Elvis. Or some more health, I should say. My plants are already lost. If I take that much damage from this guy.
damn it. If I didn't... I hadn't been hit so much, I might have been able to win. Shit. Alright, I'll give it another try. Because we're getting to the point where we've got the moves. I just need the skill. Get the fuck out of my way, you son of a bitch. Son of a biscuit. No oh, fair. One more try. Cause I know it's possible. It's just really hard. Fuck. Well, that took up all that took up so much of our time. God damn it. Without the god hand, so much more difficult. Stop running away. Come on, come on. Damn it. You have to take like no damage because of the time it eats up. It'd be like with what I've got right now, it'd be so easy to do it with the god hand, but we can't. Damn it. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna just have to wait until we have Hammer of a God and try it that way. Finally! A, a boss, boss fight. fight. <laughs> this little Huevon is the God Hand. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> <A mierda. laughs> What's the matter? You want a tight, tight budget, budget, big, big guy? guy? You know what? what? I'm getting, getting a bit, a bit hungry. hungry. And a little Huevon sounds like it would hit the spot. You need to feed your brain, your brain not, not your, your ass. ass. I hope you fight half as good as you talk, cabron. Find out for yourself. yourself. Yeah! I don't think you realize, realize what you're, what you're getting, getting yourself, yourself into, pendejo. Alright, right, let's go. Guy. You can wax, wax on, on, wax off, off all you like. Still, I'm still kicking, kicking your, your ass. ass. Fuck. 
in it too soon. There we go. That was good for our first try. About to say, could you please just finally stagger? It's been way too long at the I give it to Yahoo! Hey, big nice hero, right? right? How about giving me a, a hand here? Huh? Come on, come on. Oh my god! Uh, I'll help you out, alright. Alright. One chapter down, everyone. One chapter down. See you around, um, fat boy. Fat boy. <sighs> Ugh. Eleven deaths. But more than enough. Money to buy us. Upgrades. Okay. Yeah, we need to Easily. prioritize the health Why upgrades. Fat and slow always but... apply to Elvis. He probably stopped to feed that fat face of his. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> of course. Ha 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 ha! Perdoname! I gotta be hungry and could barely move. Oh, oh. <laughs> You know, if some people hadn't have passed by, <laughs> I would have starved. <laughs> you eat enough of that filthy meat for us all. Sure explains your breath. <sighs> <laughs> Don't act like you hate eating human, Chica. <laughs> My breath is minty fresh. Asshole! Oh, get away from me! Elvis, what happened? Hmm? Ah, see. Si. Boss, that's definitely 100% pure God Hand. Elvis, hmm? Can you capture him alive? Me? Catch that crazy gringo? Nah, you first, boss. Mm, I'll do it. This guy sounds like fun. 
No way, he's mine! Damn it! Make up your mind! Oh, shit. You can go. Oh, it's tough. Don't you kill him. Once we... I wanna have some but it's only gonna get harder first. from here, everybody. It only gets harder. Mm, at last, our time has come. We shall come. dispose of this so-called savior and rain despair upon humankind. <laughs> oh, okay. On that note, we're gonna go buy us some. Uh, we're gonna go buy us a couple upgrades. And then we're going to take us a break. <laughs> Probably a 10-15 minute break. I need to stretch. I need to get water. Oh, it's not even enough to get the... Thing I was talking about anyway. It's, it's fine, they ask you how you are, just have sitting up there. You're not really fine, but you know, we just can't get into it because you know they would never understand. And we'll give this damn challenge one more frickin' try. Actually, wait, is there any of these that just give 2,000? That aren't these two? Let's try this one. Three enemies, one minute. It's chaos time. Come on, come on! Woohoo! We fucking did it, let's fucking go! Hello, baby. Did you miss me? Now the last move I need for my combo is very expensive. It's, I think, 90,000. But alright, now that we did that, we're gonna save again.
Okay. And then I'm gonna try my hand at this challenge. Um, I'm gonna try my hand at this one other challenge with the Fangway looking motherfuckers. I'm gonna- Oh shit, I didn't do the- uh oh. I saved and I hit continue, didn't I? Well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. We were gonna- We were gonna take a break anyway. So, I'ma do- I'm, I'ma do that. I'ma do that. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Uh, so, we're gonna take like a ten- Like a ten minute break or so. When I come back, we probably gonna start some- We're probably gonna start like Darkness 2 or something. I don't know, something on Steam. Maybe Spawn Armageddon. I don't know. Wolfpack, if you're still here, since I think you're the only person still awake uh, and watching. Since everybody else went to bed or was otherwise indisposed. Um, you can let me know what you, what you want to do. I'm going to start Darkness unless you want to see... Um, Unless you want to see Spawn game. Uh, we could also start Alice's Madness Returns. Because I do have that game. I, I got that game fairly recently. And, uh... Or we could continue Bioshock. It doesn't, it doesn't really, I, got a bunch, I got a bunch of stuff installed. Um, oh, shit. Actually, while I'm on break, I gotta buy... Uh, there's actually a game I need to buy. Well, I am thinking about it. We need to... We still need to continue Postal, oh my gosh. We, still, we do still need to continue Postal, like for real these. That was like forever ago. Or you know what, we'll try Dark. <laughs> that was something I stayed I wanted to do. But anyways, um, yeah, so take a break, 10, 15 minutes. Gonna put on some music for y'all. I'd be back, get some snackages, get some fluids, all that cool stuff. And, uh, yeah, BRB.
hypnotized and crushed my innocence You told your lies, your brother died And still you think of it It's such a shame, it's not your fault It's the devil who it pays to
boys must go to extremes When there's no easy answer Wait for it Feels like I'm stuck in a dream Turning to a nightmare We're back. We're back. We're ready to attack. I fucking hate that guy. I hate Gazi Koso. Like, you were right, Necro. Every, like, every time you hear Gazi Koso speak, it just stays in your brain forever. And I was able to find that, uh, that video of Sargon reacting to him so I can get the clip of, uh, so I can get the, I can get the clip of Aquavail. Because I can't find Gazi's channel. I've I've tried. I I can't seem to find Gazi's channel. I don't know what happened with that, but um, I can get the aqua <laughs> aquabial. <laughs> so I can have Ghost added to a soundboard for me. Anyways, welcome back. I almost said welcome back. <laughs> I'm surprised Gazi Kotsa never said that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me close this. Let me do this. I'm pretty sure he got <laughs> 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 Possibly. Like, every now and then, people from that era will kind of crop into my mind. Like, I'll remember Milo, I'll remember fucking uh, Lacey Green, or fucking Chris Raygun, or, uh, or Gazi Kotso, or like, 
daring or um what was the the, the one guy kraut did the, the gay ops guy and uh, i wonder what happened to those people <laughs> what happened to all those people <laughs> Wait, we all know what happened to Ethan Ralph. Uh, Sui! <laughs> Damn it, Necro, I wish you were here, because you do a really good impersonation of the. Arrest him! Arrest him! <laughs> uh, I still haven't made a Ubisoft account, so we still can't start Prince of Persia. Uh, I got Singularity, because I think it was Mesmer's. On, uh, on your stream, Necro, mentioned Singularity and got me thinking, you know, I have Singularity. I played this game back in, like, 2011. <laughs> I wonder if Singularity was any good. I don't fucking remember. This was Russian Bioshock before fucking, uh, Atomic Hearts or whatever. Bearing is still around. Kraut split his cock with an axe and keeps trying to come back around, but it never sticks. What does Bearing do now? Or that, uh, that other guy that was like Bearing. Fucking, uh, Battening. Whatever happens to Battening? <laughs> Whatever happens to Battening? I have... Literally never mentioned Singularity. <laughs> no, not you. I think it was Mesmer's on your stream mentioned Singularity. Or maybe it was somebody... Because I remember... God damn it. I don't know. Whatever. Somebody fucking mentioned Singularity. And it got me thinking about Singularity. <laughs> uh... Could start Marlo Briggs. We probably gonna start the dankness. Cause I've been wanting to replay this anyway, and this is an excuse. It's something to do. I was also thinking about Spawn Armageddon, but I don't know if I actually have that installed. And I don't want a repeat of two weeks ago when I was gonna play the darkness too. And it wasn't installed. <laughs> Bering does the exact same thing he always did. Hasn't released a new album since his first. Battening, as far as I know, got run off with Kraut and Black Pigeon. What the fuck? Who the fuck was Black Pigeon? <laughs> Yo. You just streamed Darkness 2. Uh-uh. I didn't finish it. I only got to, like, the first... I only got to, like, fucking, um... I literally just got to the death of Swifty. There's still, like, two-thirds of the game to go. <laughs> you know, I picked up the Darkness for 50 cents at a pawn shop. I already own it. But for 50 cents, yo. I feel that. I understand that. There's a lot of games I, I, I would buy on, like, Steam sales. But, like, I own it on every other platform. There's really no reason to get it on here. Or, like, uh, where the fuck is it? Remember me. I got this for like 99 cents in a Capcom sale a few months ago. I think it was around the time they released the gameplay for Exo Primal. Also, Necro, I've been meaning to ask you about Exo Primal because I know you were saying on your stream that you liked it and that you and Tenben had played it a bit. I, I remember you mentioned that in the Discord. But I was, um, cause I'm gonna be honest, to me, it, it, like, the, with the pre-release material, it didn't look very good to me. But I was, I was curious since you've actually played it, uh, like, what your, what your full take on it was. Black Pigeon Speaks is an ethno-nationalist whose biggest problem is he makes great points with data to back him up. And got yeeted because no one could refute him. 
So it's kind of like the opposite of that, uh, what was his name, No Bullshit Guy? I remember No, no Bullshit got kind of bullied by his own community. <laughs> shout out to No Bullshit, by the way. Actually, don't shout out to No Bullshit. <laughs> no, don't shout out to No Bullshit. Swifty. I remember getting extremely bored of Remember Me. I played Remember Me when it was new. Partially because, you know, woman protagonist in action-y looking kind of game. And also Capcom. At the time, this was a pre-DMC Devil May Cry world. This was a pre-Street Fighter X second landscape. <laughs> in my mind at the time, Capcom could do no wrong. So I saw Capcom and I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. And then I played like the first level and never touched it again. Um, I think that was some other game that I now own. I think I did that with uh, I think I did that with Rise of the Tomb Raider. I gave it like the first two levels and I was like, this isn't as good as Tomb Raider Legend or Tomb Raider Underworld. No bullshit was full of shit. Black Pigeon ran with naked apes and edgy sphinx. He's still on alt sites. <laughs> I'm kind of half tempted to look into Black Pigeon. Oh, you know who else I wonder what they're, what they're up to nowadays? What happened to Steve Shives? <laughs> What happened to Steve Shives? What is Steve Shives doing today? Does he still have his stupid, um, does, does he still have his stupid hobo milkman beard? Cap wrong. Got him. Was that? I swear there was another game on here. I, I need to continue, Steve. This game's cool. I don't think it's as good as God Hand, but it's cool. Um, Remember Me had a proof-of-concept combat style, and it feels like a proof-of-concept. Oh, you know what? This is a fucking game I need to finish i like this game was a huge fucking disappointment to me solstice i played it i played the demo and i thought the demo was bad ass and then the actual game came out and i played it i was so excited and i was i was having fun for a little bit and then i was like oh this is a lot like dmc and then i played some of the secret missions and i was like oh these are secret missions that are in games like devil may cry but this was not thought out at all with how this game's actual unique systems function. Like, I, this is this is a big disappointment. Still, character action title, I, I still play it eventually. But damn, I, I lost so much luster for this game. Oh, No More Heroes 3 was another one that I was um like I was I was interested in and excited for because the gameplay looked fun. But then like I played it and like Necro had told me multiple times that like it was complete shit and this that and the third. But I was like, yeah, it looks fun. I got it for like next to no money from a retro store where I'm friends with everybody who works there. So um and I, I went home I by the time I got to the first boss, which is like 20 minutes into the game, I was so bored. I was so bored, and I was so done with what I was doing. Steve Shives is also still around. His feminist wife, uh, his feminist wife left him because, surprise, surprise, male feminists are all full of shit woman abusers. No More Heroes 3 was thoroughly disappointing. Solstice, more like soul mess. Got he. Yeah, like, I was, like, the thing is, I, No More Heroes 3, the, the combat in and of itself was, like, it was functional, but I was just, I was so bored. I just didn't care. 
And like I, I replayed uh par I, I partially replayed No More Heroes One recently and I was having a blast. I was getting my ass kicked because I'm s i am still suck uh butt at that game. But I was having so much fun playing that. And I went back to Shadows of the Damned recently, and although I think elements of Shadows of the Damned have aged have aged kinda poorly. Not like um like the humor and stuff. I, I still think that's funny. But some of the gameplay elements in Shadows of the Damned definitely they ring true of that immediately post Resident Evil 4 world where like Resident Evil 4 worked and revolutionized third person shooting but we still hadn't fully refined it in a way that wasn't working within Resident Evil 4 like I don't think we had gotten Dead Space yet, or Resident Evil 6, or, um, I don't know, some other fucking third-person shooter that I'm not thinking of at the moment. Where they had, where, like, they got it to, they got that system to work, but understood that you kind of need to fucking move, unless everything is designed around the fact that you can't move and shoot at the same time. But I hope that is an error that rectifies itself in um, the Shadows of the Damned remaster. I also hope they add a new game plus so you can actually get every single upgrade. Because it it, it's physically impossible to get every upgrade in the game. There's just not enough upgrade points. Huh? It's not buffering for me. Got him. Well, No More Heroes 1 and 2 had actual levels. 3 just had you finding combat challenges in an empty open world. Buffering or just me? The biggest problem is that 1 and 2 are actually about things. Have a plot. No More Heroes 3 is about... No more heroes. Yeah, I remember I was watching a, a No More Heroes retrospective by... Uh, it's not by Nostalgic... It wasn't by Nostalgic Gamer. It was, it was by the same guy who did that Twisted Metal retrospective. I don't, I don't remember his name. Well, whatever. That guy. He made like a four hour video on No More Heroes 3 and by the end still could not tell the audience if he liked the fucking game or not. But anyway, uh, what else one more? I'll eventually return to Street Fighter 6. Fuck eventually. I've wanted to stream Sunset Overdrive, but like, I really liked this game when it was new and when I first played it. It was hitting all the right little check marks for me it was it hit the attitude it hit the aesthetic it hit everything right but upon reflection as i've gotten older like reflecting on the gameplay the gameplay was incredibly shallow and frankly kind of mediocre so like I, I, a part of me wants to replay it to see if like i still have fun with it now but also I won't, but also, I feel like if I was to replay it, I'm, it's just going to completely destroy the happy memories I have with this. Just you, this isn't Thief 4. I, oh, I got that game, Ghost. I, I got You got me kind of thinking about Thief 4, and I kind of wanted to play it again. So I bought Thief 4 and X-Blades. I also have uh, Thief Deadly Shadow, as I think it's called. Whichever one also got released on the original Xbox. Let me see if I can find it. Uh... Deadly Shadows, there we go. Alright. Kabosh, tisk tisk. Okay, it was me. Oh, check out that game under Fighting Hurts. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you guys don't see it zoomed in and stuff. Three sucked. I have it sitting there. Probably won't play it. Like I said, I I liked the first No More Heroes. I didn't really like No More Heroes 2. Um, but 3, I was excited and interested to play. 
I just didn't care. Sorry, check under them spite hurts. I was just like... It was just like a mediocre Infamous 2 with a shitty aesthetic. Nah, it's Garbo. It takes place after the top-down side game, and its plot is even more nonsense. Travis gets decapitated, and then ten minutes later is just inexplicably fine. Oh, I forgot about that uh, top down. Yeah, Travis strikes again. Garcia Hotspurn was in that game. That sucked too, from what I remember. I didn't like it. My brother likes it. Uh, my brother likes it more than I do. I, okay, like, I like that Garcia Hotspurn is in it. <laughs> That's what I like about, about Travis Strikes Again. I like that Garcia fucking Hotsburn, Hunter of Demons and Slayer of Pentejos like you, is in it. I, I like the fact that he's in it. That's the nicest thing I can say about fucking, um, Travis Strikes Again. Never played part two, uh, for more than the first mission. My brother and I had it on the, on the Wii. What was I gonna do again? Oh, yeah, fucking darkness. Let's go. Yeah, it's dark in time. Well, truck is about to get darked. Let's go. Audio warning. Turn down your speakers. Going back to work. Later. Later, Necro. Audio warning. Oh, Garcia Longshot is in it? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, yes, he is in it. And he does have, uh, his weapon, the Big Bona. I'm really excited for the remaster. I hope it doesn't suck. And the new guys found your buddy, Johnny Powell. Hey, he didn't take the invitation so good. We put him in the back room so he could shit his pants for a while. Follow me. Can't wait to see him again. Ask me, this guy's a couple clowns short of a circus, Jackie. He wasn't living by the Queensboro Bridge, he was living under it, in a cardboard box. All right, come on, he's back here. Hey, Chief, how's the wife and kids? Mm. Well, he's in a good mood. There you go. Knock yourself out. So let's say you live in a big house and you own some books. I mean, some other fuck nuts might live at the North Pole and they own a lawnmower. But that don't mean nothing. I can keep a secret. I can keep a secret. Just let me go and I won't be the hurt. Scout's on her. It's cool. 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 The darkness is so fucking seductive. Lollipop Chainsaw is being remade. Shadows of the Damned is being remastered. But I hope they add a new game plus feature and maybe refine some of the gameplay. I let it out, Johnny. Now I don't know if I can control it. Let the darkness back out? Jesus Christ, Jackie, that thing is like a slow suicide. Then help me get it back under control. You don't control the darkness, Jackie. You cower in fucking fear of it, and you pray it goes away. The longer the darkness is active, the more it'll try to confuse you. <laughs> Shout out to the big, uh, uh to big see. bones of Tony. No fat shaming. <laughs> I need your help, so you're back on the payroll until I say you can go. A bunch of assholes just came after my entire operation, and whoever gave him this envelope is connected to the darkness somehow. I need you to figure out who they are and what they know about it. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'll do what I can. It'll go a lot faster if you get one of your gorillas to untie me. Please. 
lives in Viscera. And you are the focus. It wants chaos. Don't make no difference if it's keeping fruit. Better than sleeping under a piece of wet cardboard. So don't fuck it up! Gotta get organized. Look at all these damn books they got. Don't, 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 don't be an idiot, Johnny, all right? They're, they're giving you an opportunity. All right, don't, 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 don't look, don't look. No one in the eye, and you'll be fine. It's made of the inside. It's white, but you don't even know if it's white. You can't even see the inside. So, I mean, it, it, the, the color, is, co color is inconsequential. You don't even have to know what the color is. Just know that it, 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 oh, there's air inside. There's air inside, but what else is inside? What does the air touch? Nobody knows what the air touches, but when you hit it, you feel something, and nobody knows what you feel. I know what you feel, but I'm not going to tell you. Every victory turns to defeat. You live long enough, you pretty much figure that shit out. Youth is a series of mistakes. Manhood's a struggle. Old age is a big fucking regret. <laughs> <laughs> can I enlighten that? To be honest? And no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Actually based, though? YouTube keeps yeeting my comments? Uh-oh. courage. I'll show you a majority. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know the only thing you can ever trust? Absolute goddamn mediocrity. Kind of base, though. Don't make no difference if it's keeping fruit. Better than sleeping under a piece of wet cardboard. So don't fuck it up. I love Shadows of the Damned for what it was. I never finished Lollipop. I think they're both really fun, and uh, they both have a special place in my heart, personally. I really am looking forward to the uh, remaster. The remake for Lollipop Chainsaw has me kind of sus, though. I used to think he was pretty smart. Now he looks like something the cat threw up. Hey, hey, Frank and Eddie are back from the club. They're waiting for you with Jimmy in your office. All right, thanks, Vin. Don't you listen to that voice in your head, Jackie. You fear the darkness like it was the devil himself. Everything is said in the Ah, this is no good. No good at all, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. I heard you fucked up Swifty and his guys real good. That'll teach them pricks not to spoil a perfectly good meal. Hey, what's a good word, Jackie? Idiot. Okay. Uh, how's things with you? Hey, Jackie. I heard you fucked up Swifty and his guys. Really Yo, good. Jack! Remember, cleanliness is next to godliness. So don't leave blood all over the floor. Two <laughs> things you need in this life. A good gun and an even better dry cleaner. My mom used to work in a slaughterhouse. Oh, she was magic with a boning saw. I always wanted to be like my dad. Until someone pushed him off a ten story. Jesus! They say home is where the heart is. And the lungs, and the liver, and the spleen. You ever have one of those days when you look in the mirror and you realize you have a human ear stuck to your shirt? You see, death is predictable. Love is complicated. That's why I never got married. That and the fact that I dismember corpses for you. I got my nickname in junior high after I butchered a math test. Guess the name just kind of stuck, huh? I mopped up what was left of Swifty's guys. You had me busy with that thing at the pool hall. You did a good thing for the family, Jackie. I found some lead strips that are specifically for car interior lighting. Looks like a perfect glowing skinny line. I'm going to use it for my game room. It kind of looks badass. I'll take a picture when I finish putting it in. Base. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So I'll leave blood all over the floor. Hey Jack, can you see Jimmy in? Maybe it's me, but you ever think it was kind of weird we got some fucking homeless guy set up in the back room? This whole thing stinks, Jack. Yes, me. There's something we don't know about yet. If we don't check it out, it's gonna bite us in the ass later. Your Aunt Sarah didn't take that thing at the restaurant so good, you know? She's all bent out of shape about Chef Antonio going down like he did. Not for nothing, we lose way too many chefs to gunfire, in my opinion. <laughs> I 
the fuck happened around here? Is it me, or did this dog of a town just bite us on the ass? Maybe it's me, but you ever think it was kind of weird we got some fucking homeless guy set up in the back room? Ciao, ciao, boss. <laughs> if I had a thousand bucks for every fucking prick who calls me a weirdo, I still wouldn't have enough to cover their funeral expenses. Every man's gotta have someone to look up to. For me, it was always the classic. Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, Cookie Monster. <laughs> yeah. Baseball? Shout out to my boy Cookie Monster. I have red outlining my shelf below my gaming system. Uh, gaming system and TV. Then I have blue lining on an official Sony PlayStation console stand that holds game uh, games and Guitar Hero guitars. It's gonna look nice. Better than regular lead strips because they are a continuous thin line of glowing light. If people were only nicer to each other, I wouldn't have to teach so many of them a lesson. It's like John Lennon said. Oops, I did it again. I'm pretty sure that was Britney Spears. What's funny is when some judges like reading you the riot act, you know, and they're listing all the charges and they miss like half of what you did. That's funny. If you go to school and you never learn to read, that's like looking at some stranger and not picking up on the signals and then dying in a back alley somewhere because you didn't get the message. I tried to warn you for Pete's sake. <laughs> if you go to school and you never learn to read, that's like looking at some stranger and not picking up on the signals and then dying in a back alley somewhere because you didn't get the message. I tried to warn you for Pete's sake. My dad said to me, Dolfo, he said, whatever happens in your life, don't you ever regret a thing. Be your own man and answer to no one. I thought that was a pretty fucked up thing to say just as he died a lethal injection. See, if you close your eyes and just imagine how it feels when your lungs fill with blood and your eyes are bugging out and you can't breathe from all the gunshot wounds, if people talk more about stuff like that, they wouldn't disagree with me so often. Dolpho is special and unique. What makes a guy go nuts, but you definitely know it when you see it, right? You know, his father went crazy all them years ago. Maybe it's Herod, Harada, Haroda, Harushieri, you know. How about a fuck? <laughs> you know. You gossiping schoolgirls got something you want to say to my face? Not the boss, just waiting for your orders. Just want to help, Jackie. That's what I thought. That was weird. Shut up already, the all right? happened only several hours after an explosion and subsequent firefight rocked Little Italy. Right. Restaurant owner Paul Luke. Can let y'all hear this? No word yet on whether the two incidents are linked. This week on Patches and Blank, game recognized games. When the Russian ambassador visits the Big Apple, streets run red with blood for detectives Patches and Blank. It's a race against time to find a killer. But what patches to do when his partner falls under the seductive spell of Soviet agent turned lady of the night, Badass Atletikov? Will blank be forever doomed to a life of endless lust? How will patches stand alone against the full might of Mother Russia? Will our deductive duo stop a merciless killer before he strikes again? Or before the chief shuts them down for good? Find out this Friday at 8 p.m. Patches and blank. Game recognized game. Only on public access. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds kind of interesting, like the Nightblade episodes in Saints Row 3. Oh, shout out to Rush Limbaugh, let's go. I mean, Kenneth Copeland.
The first are you, my loyal listeners, the patriots of this country, the people who make America great. <laughs> I think this is a repeat of the message uh, from earlier. Your God-given children ripped from your homes and forcibly adopted by gay Islamic eagles. Holy shit! Holy shit! Can we get gay Islamic eco terrorists in the chat, please? Hold on a second. Let me check the audio. You are my puppet. You are my. liberals will go out of their way to avoid any <laughs> the stomach eco terrorists because they know you the patriots are hearing the truth straight from the bob's mouth and that scares them they know their time is at an end and they're gonna fight back any way they can even if that means they got a call the liberal gay islamic terrorists listening because i'm about to ask them a question first we're gonna take a quick free market break. You liberals might call it a commercial break, but <coughs> here in Bob's house, we call it by its true name. Capitalism. America. Jesus. And you, <coughs> and you can't stop Jesus. No, sir. Just try. Try and see what happens. We'll be right back. I mean, kind of base, though. As a fellow follower of Christ, but my... My guy! <laughs> Liberal... Islamic eco terrorists. Unwind. You want margaritas, but your friends are already at the pub. What's the thirsty guy to do? New York's only Irish pub and margarita bar. Where you can bar shop without ever leaving your seat. Two dollar car bombs and half price body shots every Friday, only at six feet. Hi, boss. Yo, the breakfast is still here. That was like from multiple days ago. So you took that prick Swifty out. Oh, that would have been fun to watch, let me tell you. One of these days, I'm going to find me a plus size model, buy a burger joint, and settle down for good. And I'm going to buy her a lot of plus size lingerie for the kitchen, too. What the fuck? Damn, I'm glad you're on our side, boss. Yeah, I pack a few extra pounds. So what? We get stranded on a desert island. We know which one of us is going to make it to the rescue helicopter. I wonder about all those moments lost in time. Like tears in the rain. Then I'm like, fuck it, make a sandwich. It'll be okay. So, I guess we fixed that problem at the restaurant, huh, Jackie? Pizza. It's like three of your major food groups, and the other ones are completely fucking useless anyway. Beast, <laughs> If I was Romeo, Juliet would be up there all frickin' day. I ain't climbing that ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Best movie I ever saw was that chocolate. You ever see that film? I didn't understand a fucking word of it, but who gives a shit? <laughs> so you took that prick Swifty out. Oh, that would have been fun to watch, let me tell you. One of these days, I'm gonna find me a plus size okay, model. Okay, Sir Pete, audio. Hey, be careful out there. Jackie, you're gonna want to hear this. How you holding up, Jackie? I'm all right, Aunt Sarah. How you doing? I have arthritis and two bum knees. Every day is a gift. How do you think I'm doing? You're something else, you know that? And you look like shit, you know that? I'm gonna make you some of that meatloaf you love so much. I'll have it for you in a couple of hours. Nice um, home cooked meat is what meatloaf. you need. You're the best. Bet your ass I am. 
I'm not gonna lie, I really want some meatloaf. It's been a long time since I ate meatloaf. I also still want some cookies. I haven't been able to make my sister's uh, peanut butter cookies yet. Yagi, you're gonna want to hear this. That Swifty prick was right. The assholes who hit us are hiding out at the brimstone. What did you geniuses find out? It was Eddie worded. I was otherwise engaged at the time. He was busy snorting coke off a of hooker's ass. Never could multitask. Well, these two chuckleheads are getting their dick spit polished. One of the whores starts running their mouth about the new owners. I had this girl, Camille. She says the place got bought up last month. The new guys took over the top floor. Yeah, but that ain't the best part. I hope that Camille nice lady doesn't die. Guy with a limp going in and out of the place. Says he looks like Nosferatu on crack. Who the fuck is Nosferatu? Your grandmother. No idea if this wank job and his crew are still there. But it might be worth checking out. All right, enough talking. I'm headed down there. Whatever you say, Jaggy. I think Vinny has a friend who works there. Might want to ask him about it. I talk to Eddie and Frank. Hey there, Jackie. Hey, What's Jackie, going on? Did you fuck up that pool all good or what? You're a good boy, Jackie. Always did know how to break a few faces here and there. You done good at the pool hall, kid. But we still got work to do. You set on what we gotta do next, Jackie? This fucking town is crazy right now. Worse than ever. I wanna know what the hell we did to get everyone on our case. You're a good boy, Jackie. Always did know how to break a few faces here and there. You done good at the pool hole, kid. Oh, here we go. That's that one. That's good. Hey, Jack. So, uh, Jimmy told me about the Brimstone Club. Sounds like a real dumpster. You, uh, got a hookup over there? Well, uh, you mean uh, me? Well, I, I'd never go to a cesspool like that, but I, I got a friend who goes there sometimes. Who, you know, when it's late at night, when other places are closed. I know a girl there named Venus. Sure she can help you out. She's a real handful. Two of them, actually. The new owners are real pissy about the door. They don't let nobody bring a gun in. That's fine, though, because you probably want to learn as much as you can before you, you know, do your thing and scare the living shit out of them. Damn right. Okay, then. You ready to get some fucking answers? <laughs> Take me to this shithole, Vinny. I thought you'd never ask. Let's go. Jackie, Jackie, wait! What? What's the matter? Uh, 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 this envelope. Uh, uh, where did you say you got it again? Off some dead guy that was paid to kill me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Something wrong, Johnny? Uh, nothing. Um, uh, couldn't be them. Because that'd be really bad. Hey, um, I, 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 I gotta do some more research. Uh, good luck in your killing spree. Me and the boys will take him to the zoo while you're gone. Retards like the zoo. Let's go, Vinny. Atta boy, That's Jackie. So what do you say we go tweak some nipples and see what happens, huh? <laughs> I remember this one time when it was summer, hot as balls. Jenny and me were on the stoop with a couple of cones there trying to cool off. And here comes this fucking kid. You know the type. Asshole all the way. He shoves me over and takes a seat between the two of us. Jenny takes one look at him. Dumped her cone right in his lap. <laughs> That's when he pushed her. So I did what I had to do. I curbed the little fuck. Figured a few months eating through a straw would teach him how to talk to a lady. Jenny didn't talk to me for a week. Yeah, mannequins on their own don't freak me out, but I feel like being in a room full of mannequins might freak me out a little. No, 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 just 
me. This is the good one. Not like I got a choice. Go ahead. Hey, don't I know you? I don't think so, Chief. I'm sure you'd remember. I gotta frisk you, tough guy. Get it? Cause they reuse the model. Yes, that's good. Arms to your sides. This is a friendly joint. No trouble. You packing tonight, hot shot? Who, me? And spoil the party? Yes, he's clean. Get inside. Have a nice evening. Funny thing is, I think that's the only enemy type. Or, not the only enemy type. That's the only enemy right in the, the game store, that pal. has a specifically Russian accent. I can make all your dreams come true. She is not enjoying that at all. Sorry. You look plenty awake now, don't you? Get back to work. Hi. Hi there, baby. You looking for a good time? You must be Venus. I'm Jackie, Vinny's friend. Well, any friend of Vinny's is a friend of mine. Why don't you come up to my room? I think I could arrange something special just for you. Follow me, handsome. Throwing a hot dog down a hallway. What does that even mean? <laughs> yes. I guess the darkness is for throwing a hot dog down the hallway. Honestly, throwing the hot dog throwing a hot dog down the hallway sounds like one of those Greg Locke okay, phrases like we got too many polar bears in the pool today, man. <laughs> what are those guys? Done it. Gun in my room. <laughs> Done it. Guys find it, they'll kill me. They don't play games, Jackie. These are some messed up fucking people. They all tweet out and shit. Just promise if anything goes wrong, you won't rat me out. So you gotta get up to the third floor quickly. Are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got it. Come on, it's this way. It's simpler than that. Takes the emotion right at it. What? Not just for you to hear, buddy. Look, all I'm saying is we go to management and air our concerns. Have you seen this new guy? The hunchback guy? You're gonna ask that fucking abomination for a raise? I figured you could go ask him. You better not say shit to deny you. you. Uh, that is, that's a little too small for me to see, Wolfpack. I don't, I don't know what emoji that is. Uh, I, I can't that's see that funny. one. It, it just looks like a, like a comma. Like a comma and a dot. They closed off the top two floors. We figured they was just shooting pornos up there. But then, Chantel went to go see that hunchback guy on the third floor. Now we ain't seen her in a month. Here, this is from Vinny. Nice. Now you go find these assholes and make sure you give them one for me. Shoot Quasimodo upside the head and put us all out of his fucking misery. Screw this. Come on, stay sharp! What the hell is that? And there is Then... I want another chance. Hey. Die, you son of a bitch! Now, I do gotta remember that I am on, uh, I am on Dawn difficulty. So 
So I do need to be careful. I got toined around. Why did he hit that? He said, like, You're dead, Gabon? What the fuck does that mean? Why didn't you just give me wings? Get over there. Bollocks, it's locked. Can you get up to that vent? Alright, now the Darkling sections on the PC version are a bit buggy, so hopefully we don't run into, um, one of those. Wait, what did you do? Oh, neat little trick, innit? Uh, now you see what I see, don't you? <laughs> How's the view? Sure, let's get one. The relic will hold it. Once we have it, the world will be out. Open this door, and I'll ask it myself. Sin produces dark essence. Dark essence gives us power, and sin mm. is profitable. Yeah, pretty sure that's bad. Yeah, something's not right here. This place. What better? Wait a minute. Get closer to him. I want to see what I'm up against. With pleasure. That close enough for you? Yeah. Planted by the light. Yeah, we ain't getting that guy. Don't cock me. Let's say, don't cock me, game. Uh, Still, so giant regret that I never was able to get the uh, the, the don't cock me Felix clip. And it was hilarious. I don't even play Dead by Daylight anymore. Because behavior. On. Let's find the rest of these assholes. Behavior just hates the thing that created. It's just like Swifty said. These guys know everything about me. I don't know why Go they insist no on constantly further. breaking their fucking game and not resolving. Years worth of known issues. I just thought he was about to say, on the way, on the way. Dark and 
Fuck, 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 fuck. Yummy. Alright. We should get a couple cobras if I remember correctly. Well, oh, those shit. might have despawned. Fuck, I think they despawned. Nope, there's one cobra. Gonna take you back. Oh, shit. Oh, You're losing it, Jackie. Stay away from the light. Thing, we yeah, asked a couple. <laughs> so predictable. <laughs> Don't worry, there, there's a, there's no way to win that part. It's just, I, I like to see how many how long I can last. He's coming too. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing? <clears throat> He's awake. Good. Keep him focused. I like the way he feels. He feels sticky. Go about your duties. Ow. When the transfer is complete, then my we'll hair. have what we came for. Hold on, I gotta fix my hair. I want Give me you a second. to believe me. I wish this could have been any other way, Jackie. But we all have tough choices to make, and this is yours. So you're the fucker who tried to hit us at the restaurant, huh? Don't talk and don't think. Just listen. You've been keeping something that was once lost. Something that doesn't belong to you. Now you have to choose to give it back. There's Venus what in happens the to you is of secondary concern. I only care about one thing. I want the darkness! I don't know what you're talking about. What's wrong with your of face? You but the fact is, you're careless. And far too many criminals in this city believe you have a demon living inside you. The restaurant was a test to be certain of the new one. <laughs> now you've passed that test, we want it back. Hmm. I feel you shifting in there. Are you getting nervous? You're too stupid to give the darkness the fear and respect it deserves, Jackie. It prefers the company of a moron it can control, and it loathes the sight of an intelligent man who can control it. Now I'll ask just once. Will you give me the darkness of your own free will? Why don't you try and take it if you're such a fucking genius? If you read anything but comic books and menus, you'd know there are rules. Okay, legitimate question for the chat. Do y'all think Jackie is a comic book reader? The host may only give up the darkness by choice. I'm afraid I have to. Does help Jackie you make Estacado that seem like a comic fan to y'all? Mr. Peevish, if you'd be so kind. Watch this, pretty boy. 
It's your own personal snuff movie. The darkness made you watch your girlfriend's murder. Your first meaningful act as its host was one of submission. Face it, Jackie. You can't control the darkness, and you never could. Best no. to get back to the people who can. <laughs> That stream of darkness is flowing into the siphon tells me you're already thinking of giving it up. Let's see if I can grease the wheels of that decision. Mr. Bragg. So, this was your girlfriend, huh, Jackie boy? I guess wars with lip rings give good head. What's the matter? Couldn't fuck her face when her head was blown off? Jackie! Oh, Jackie, the whole damn place is overrun! Don't give it each, Jackie. They don't got the whole place yet. Shut up! You're under attack all across the city. We have the means and the intent to bring your organization to its knees, and within minutes, we'll control your home. So think fast, Jackie. This isn't just about you anymore. Make a choice, left or right. I don't negotiate with darkness terrorists. Jackie, no! You can't do this to me! You son of a bitch! Whoa, that one got wet. You did what you had to do, Jackie. For clarification, if you don't choose any, if you don't choose either of them, uh, Eddie will always get shot. Um, it doesn't super affect anything other than some. Bits of dialogue here and uh, here and there. You show these bastards who they just fuck with. Shut your ugly mouth, you fucking corpse. You made a bad decision to let the genie back out of the bottle, Jackie. To the darkness, you're just a puppet made of skin and gristle. Last chance. Will you give me the darkness of your own free will? Fuck you! Then not of your own free will. I'm trying to help you, but if you're too stupid to see it, I'll negotiate in a language even you can understand. Mr. Bragg! Kill everyone in the mansion. Find the old lady and tear off both of her arms. Hey, how about I tear off a useless old tits? What do you think of that, Jackie boy? You lost Jenny because I'd like to point out that that's a recorded video. And now you're going to lose everything you chose. So they had to plan this conversation. Limitations. Break his will. He will beg us to take it from him. You must resist. Project the darkness. Never! I'm done with you! Do not let them take me! Fuck you. I'm done being your puppet. You will to my bidding. Think. Give me one good reason. Jenny's dead, you idiot. Focus! Give me the darkness, or your dear old Aunt Sarah is worm food. I can't. <laughs> you leave me no choice but to use the siphon, <laughs> Mr. Peevish. The binding rituals are nearly prepared. Won't be long now. Good. Keep working him over. I want him as weak as possible when the ritual begins. Resist. <laughs> It's resistant time. Broke free. Also, I'm just gonna say it. Crucifying someone by the hands is ineffective. Dying time. Kill the light. Peevish, the siphon! Get outside and lock the fucking door! <laughs> I tried to give you an out, Jackie, so don't ever say you weren't given a choice. You bought this on yourself, and you've bought it on your family. I was only trying to help you. <laughs> 
You won't die, Jackie. The darkness won't let you. But... All right, now, fun facts about the console versions and the PC version of this game. The blood stain there is different on the console version, and there is a they actually have a, a little, like, blood trailing when Jackie sweeps his hand to the right. Fun fact! That blood stain is different on console. By the time you get out, your Aunt Sarah will be gutted. I challenge you to find anyone else on planet Earth that noticed oh, okay, that detail. Think about just how powerless you are, because next time, I won't ask so nicely. Torch the entire building! <sighs> the Siphon! For Jenny! That's a healthy <laughs> you know the difference! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the blood stain is different on the PC version and the console version. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Go ahead, we'll pack stain. Pack stain. <laughs> damn it. That was okay. The, no, that damn it. That was on the level of look what you did to her. You killed her. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to give her an aspirin. Look what she did to her. You killed her. <laughs> that was not that was not that was not that. <laughs> also, shout out to Kabuki Man. <laughs> Go ahead, we'll pack say it, but fucking say it. <laughs> fucking say it, I dare you. I dare you. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Point out the level of useless knowledge that that is. Do it. Go ahead, you won't. You won't. Am I gonna get him? Am I gonna get him? Did I get him? I didn't get him. Damn it. It's fine, it'd be like that. You can catch him sometimes with the swarm or if you have a shield. You can catch one of them. It's not a big deal, but it's a thing you can do, which I I know from playing this a thousand and one times. I know! I got a Jackie! They took the mansion! They're gonna kill everybody! Fuck! Meet me up ahead! I'll find my way down! Back. Take the siphon! It will make us complete! Shut up! She cries, Jackie! I'm gonna call it now. Bring it to me! Open air, monkey! He's right there! Oh! 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 I like that their voice switched around. <laughs> Oops. Down. I'll 
Damn it. Ah, uh, first death of the playthrough. Flesh is weakness. We got our health back, though. Sorry, Nubby. Alright, we got us one Cobra. This is why I wanted that guy to jump down. So if we can get two Cobras, that's really good. Um, ew. So you're trying to miss them, eh? Hold the trigger and make it sing. This my eye. Darkness. Eternal darkness. Oh, no, nice Gotcha. What are we looking at? Alright, we're about to get more weapons anyway. Jack, thank God it's you. We're under attack. We gotta get home before they kill everybody. Come on! There was this priest that used to come around the orphanage, Father Alonzo. Yeah, 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 I know what you're thinking, and it ain't that kind of story. Anyway, must have been about a thousand years old. That joke went completely over my head in 2012. Guy. Used to tell us kids that hell wasn't some bullshit story they made up to keep us in line. It was fucking real. A fucked up place where all the deadbeats, hookers, dealers, and junkies all ended up. And if we weren't careful, that's exactly where we were gonna go. Fuck. If only it were that easy. Give me your ammo and your gun. Prepare to meet your maker. Mind the dark, everyone. A Let's go. I do need to be mindful. I can't just uh, I can't just go in completely gun blazing right now. I 
Gotcha. Damn it, see it. Just cause we can't. Jesus, am I glad to see you? These Think guys the Christian came Christ. Like a bunch of fucking cockroaches. They're out of their minds. And you're not? I'm still alive, ain't I? More than can be said for these limp dick fucks when I'm done with them. You better head upstairs, boss. I got you covered down here. I ain't bleeding that bad. The elevator's coming down. This is stronger, stronger, stronger. But ammo is slightly more scarce. We're gonna go dual wielding of two different weapons. If you get it, you get it. What's some serious shit, man? Johnny, talk to me. What am I up against here? The whenever I, envelope you found on. Whenever I hear the line, we're in some serious shit, man. I always think he was eating um a mini powdered donut. Swifty? Specifically a mini powdered donut. Quit. The who? They were the original keepers of the darkness, Jackie. The Brotherhood is the holy fucking grail of secret societies. They're led by a guy named Victor, a high priest, royalty to them. He's not a good person, understand? Yeah, I met that asshole. He came after me with some kind of thing. It was sucking the darkness out of me. There's only one thing that can do that. The siphon of the Angelus. Jesus, I thought that thing was lost for good. Hoped it was lost for good. What the fuck is it? It's the device the Brotherhood used to cage the darkness. It's an instrument of light. It was made thousands of years ago. Some say it was forged by the Angelus itself. It's the only thing that can contain dark essence. Well, um, besides, besides you. It's powerful, Jackie, and dangerous. If they found it, that's bad. Really bad. If the Brotherhood gets a hold of the darkness, uh, 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 who knows? But I'm sure it's not good. All right, all right. I get the picture. Look, stay put. I'm gonna put these fucks out of their misery. I could have sworn there was more dialogue here. Oh, whatever. Jackie! Holy Christ, am I glad to see you. We never saw these guys coming. They got into the damn kitchen! Boss, who the fuck are these guys? They don't look like nobody I ever seen before. Jackie, we gotta get you up to your Aunt Sarah. And hey, watch yourself out there. You too, Vinny. You'll be careful. I think they're all gone. Come on. Let's do this. Fuck yes! Victory! Second time. Yeah. The carrier is here! Oh. 
up. I'll squeeze the darkness out of you with my... You give me this resource, and you give me that resource. We'll need these. I just like it flew up to heaven, then it just went like no. Fuck, 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 Uh oh. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. That was unfortunate. That's a sound clip I really want. I'm going to look over there. <laughs> Maximize our ammo. Jackie, your aunt Sarah's upstairs in your bedroom, locked in your panic room. They're trying to break through the door. We gotta move now. For the honor of the Jeffrey, you've got to get to your Aunt Sarah. What is fucking got? Guys, I'm right now. Stay away from the big stuff. And a bit of that. And the voila. Got him. Get your hands up. Jackie! Oh! Jackie, no! Oh, oh, child, you'll come back from this. You know you will. And when you do... No! No! Wrong choice, Jackie boy. Jackie, help me. Please! Wake up. Come on, Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. <sighs> there you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You had a rough night, Jackie. You've been skipping out on your meds again, bud. Alright. Uh, let me see how long we've been going. Oh, it's only been an hour. It, it's only been like an hour. Okay, I I thought that was taking at least. I thought I was going fairly slow since we were on dawn difficulty. Um, I'm going for about six hours. I don't want to 
exactly take a break per se. But since I only have so much free time and I can't get new playthroughs up, I don't want us to rush through this one. Um, hold on a second. Let me see something. We're not going to go on a break. I just, I am going to switch over to the art though, just to look at something. Wait, use that art already? Just a one. Okay. Um. I mean, the, the Darkness 2 is a really, really, really short game, so I guess it shouldn't surprise me. I kind of don't want to play Dark. I'm going to be a thousand percent with y'all. But do I want to fight to make Painkiller work properly? No, I don't. Can't do that. Can't do that. Um... I know what we can do for a little bit longer. Hell yeah. I know exactly what we can do. The return of another old favorite. Hell yeah. It's chaos in time. We're going to play Blood Rain for a little bit. And we're going to make us strives in debt. Because it is something to do. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to stream on Friday. But, but if I can, then I don't know. But yeah. We continue Bioshock eventually. As long as it's not emote, I'm fine. I thought that was Cindy. <laughs> I thought that was Cindy. But I understand, Wolfpack. It's actually been a bit since I played Blood Rain, since I've mostly been... Well, not having a lot of free time to do games. BRB one second. Oh good, wolf pack. Oh okay. good. Since I know exactly where we are, as this is one of my all time. Let's keep it moving, I know exactly how far we'll go. And then we'll probably end off the stream. Looks like they're smuggling their victims through here. Sort of a reverse underground railroad then. Let's them move for the city while the sun's up. I'll suck it up and make a Ubisoft account so we can start Prince of Persia soon. Should have kept blocking. No rain, I meant for I meant grab one of the two that's not holding a weapon. Oh, that hurt.
trying to think of any useless knowledge I could give about Blood Rain. But I've played this game like four times on the channel, so I'm pretty sure any useless knowledge I could give, I've given already. Anyways. You bitch. Nothing. Oh, this rocks. You got some big guns? Woohoo! Use them to blast through. What do you think? Those gas tanks look like they could use some heavy artillery. I didn't expect that kind of artillery down there. Me either. They're covering their tracks with big automatics. I want to get all as much as we can back as possible. Also, I gotta remember to get the vampire layers. I should remember where all of them are. If I don't, I'm gonna be real disappointed in myself. Give me the good suck. You till you're dead. We're fine. We're fine. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because you know they would never understand. Oh shit. We lost a ton of life and I really, really want it back. Give me the good suck. Give me the good suck. Yeah, I know what it sounds like. Shut up. Give me the good suck. That was too early. Life thing. All right, give me some health back. Rain in time. Oh, 
funny thing, I can run Hi-Fi Rush no problem, but this game kind of chugs and lags along. It's weird. Later, Chaka. Get over there! Get over there! Alright, let's go. You move down to the principal water treatment plant, we'll hold her here. Follow us now, skank. Rude. We sealed off the tunnel. Let me see. Yeah, looks like they cut off your only path down to the water treatment plant. Okay, I'm reading an access tunnel directly beneath you. Use those big guns to blow open an entrance somehow. How much more you think you can take? Give me the good suck. You fucking slut. You hoe. Get fucked, loser. I'm through. See a service tunnel running down there. That'll lead you directly. <laughs> That. You heard that, huh? Beats me. Sounds big though, and unhappy. Ah, uh, I love that there is at least one vampire character action game. Okay. Well, now if you want to get technical, there is more than one. There's this, and then there is Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, but it suffers from being Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Get going. Tell the Kestrels we've got a live one back here. We'll raise the water and take care of her. Fine. I we still wish there was a werewolf character the action tunnel. game, but the closest the we got to move. that is fucking, uh, get your asses down there. Altered Beasts for PS2. Right. Turn the pumps back on! Let it flow! Let it flow! Let it flow! Can't hold it back anymore. Cherry tree on hill, when singing to the blossoms, my soul is called home. You meet those boys, pretty? They most loyal. Happy to give they all for their mistress. Once they give all, mistress gonna put them back together better than ever. Right, boy? What are those? Debt packs? Oh my god, suicide bombers? How'd they trick you into that one, guys? Oh, these boys don't talk pretty. No tongue. Cut out themselves. These boys just do. Go, boys!
Get down there. Get over there. It reminds me, I should play PsyOps the Mind Gate Conspiracy. Because you can play a scorpion in that game. And I think I remember the cheat code. So yes, in the event that Cindy is one of the two mysterious lurkers, uh, that would be an example of M doing the cheat. And I'm proudly admitting it, because playing as Scorpion is fun in that game. Although we wouldn't get the story, which is an unfortunate uh, side circumstance. Because for some reason, if you use the cheat codes in PsyOps, you don't get to watch that cutscenes. Even if they're not gameplay affecting cheats, like you... If you just use one of the costume ones, for some reason you still don't get the cutscenes. That kind of sucks. I wish they were in-engine and you could see the cutscenes, so then you could actually play through the game just as Scorpion. Or as the fire lady, whose name I don't remember. She's like one of the earlier bosses, I think. Alright, that is long comments. Give me a moment to pull up and read. Name as many crimes as... Hold on. Name as many crimes as you can, and then rank them from least to most of badass. Example, hacking is towards the least badass and... So just cutting down unarmed civilian <laughs> be towards the most badass? What the fuck? Oh my god! Um, I, I guess, uh, having sex with a porcupine while riding on a skateboard, uh, having an ice cream cone in your back pocket on a Sunday, uh, mugging somebody, um, what an end times! This is uncomfortable. It's not all about the blades, honey. You know, you know what? I, I, I don't want to name love crimes. I'm not rank crimes. Don't do that. Did you even see that coming? Let's not fucking do that. Let's, let's not do it. <laughs> yes, I am one of the lurkers. Hi, Cindy. Welcome to the stream. I don't know how long you've been lurking. But there have been a few people who have, like, come in and, like, been lurking. So, happy to see you. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Alright, we're moving a bit faster through this level than I expected. So we might actually play a bit more Bioshock. Fuck. Oh, okay, that's not good. Back. Oh shit.
Got him. Switches and levers are so old school anyway. All right, the water level is dropping, low enough anyway. The primary water treatment facility is just at the other side of the access tunnel. Ooh, we took a lot of damage there, which is no bueno. Very, very no bueno. I am here since hour three. Huh? how come you didn't say nothing? Everything okay? I hope you have enjoyed what you watched. I don't actually remember what hour three was. I think I was so god hint. <laughs> I hope that- I hope- I think that was still god hand! <laughs> also, welcome back, Cory. I don't know if you were the other mysterious lurker, because there've been a- like I said, there've been a couple people lurk- uh, lurking. Which is all good. As long as people having fun, that's all I care about. Yeah, we are moving faster through this level than I expected us to, but I do not want to do the tower the level the today, so we might, uh, we might play Bioshock, <laughs> after all. A little damp for me, but it's not too hard to keep up with our friends. Good. Can you tell me where they're going? Not yet, but they're pretty serious about getting there. Moving due east. A lot of heavy industrial setups that way. I'll do some checking. Let me know something when you know something. And please don't make me come down there. Better put it in gear, Rain. I'm seeing the pumps is totally. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Because we, we do not have a lot of powers. We do not have a lot of power bar. So we gotta make this work. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, it was. God hand. Have you finished Dragon Prince? No, I have like two episodes left. What do you know? Ooh, the wooden ones float. Finding that out was worth a fall. Definitely come in handy. I need to get a lot of resources back. Give me the good suck. Whatever gives us more meter is good. <laughs> have you finished? Uh, have you finished the Dragon Pin season? If you, uh, if you have, no spoilers, please. But what did you think of the season as a whole? I've really liked everything I've seen so far, with the exception of little bits of the humor here and there that have just been. Uh, it's not as. It's not as annoying as some of the jokes from last season, but they do kind of, like, ruin the mood. And, like, the tone that the show is trying to set. Get over there! Alright, cool, we got our meter back. I hear someone coming. Get it ready. Load up the heat. I know how to load it. Just shut up. I don't hear nothing. Maybe it was rats. Oh yeah? Rats and silver steel stiletto heels? Oh, stiletto 
Steve and Wolfpack was making fun of me for my useless knowledge. How much you, how much time you gotta dedicate to knowing the specific sound sound of a specific shoe? Boom! My comment about the blood chain was totally not superlative. Now, now that I have deflected it on someone else. Okay, hold on. That's a larger comment. I gotta pull up and read. Give me just a moment. Yeah, I finished it. I enjoyed it for uh, I enjoyed it more than season four. I don't think it was as good as season three, in my opinion. And I'm also surprised how little we see of a certain character. Get over there. Get over there! Get over there! Get over there! Get over there! Okay, any day now would be fucking great, guys. Like, we're, 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 trying, we're trying to move along at, a, at a, some kind of- some semblance of a pace. Stand up, speak up, act up. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. We did it. Woohoo! Get over there. I'm reading another access tunnel across the wall. Nothing. Use the big guns. Figure out a way to open that floor. Gotcha. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, and before anyone asks, that is just the game that's really framey. Just in case y'all weren't here when I explained that. PC ports of Blood Rain 2 are, are just not great. We live in a society. Oh, actually, speaking of living in a society, isn't uh, Harley Quinn Season 4 supposed to premiere soon? Also, there was an almost plot twist at the end involving Viren. I'm curious how you'll react to it. Uh, for a split second, I thought there was going to be a big reveal, and then it's like, nah, it's actually another thing. I'll try to finish it tonight, since um, I don't know how long I'm going to be awake for. But since we have a good stream, I'll probably push it for a little bit longer to stream anyway. Um, God damn it. Let's see. Jesus. Severing that voice. I don't know how much closer I want to get to it. Something is shaking the walls like crazy. No other way through, huh? I'll try to get to it uh, as soon as the stream's over. July 27. Okay, that's a few days. Of, oh, that's tomorrow. That's literally just tomorrow. Okay, based. Based. Based in chaos build. Alright, this has just been the week of stuff.
got Barbie movie, got Resident Evil movie, got Dragon Prince, got Harley Quinn, get a new episode of My Adventures with Superman. Based. Based and chaos though. Shout out to Stranger of Paradise, by the way. It will eventually make return on the channel. Eventually. Only problem is it's kinda big. And that gets in the way. Cause it's a lot of file space and stuff. Oh, does anyone have predictions for Harley Quinn Season 4? For those of you who are watching. Actually, what is everyone watching right now? What is everybody watching right now? Like, it doesn't have to be a new thing. It could be a thing you're re-watching, a movie you saw. What is, what is everybody doing, like, right now, entertainment-wise? And what are y'all playing right now? Because, like, for me... This year's been really, really slow for releases. Like, you had Hi-Fi Rush and Dead Space, then you had Resident Evil 4, and then you had Final Fantasy 16 and Street Fighter 6. Like, I don't know, this year's just been real, real slow, uh, for me at least, on games. I'm gonna check out Spider-Man later this year. Um, I'm gonna check out Alan Wake 2, obviously. Um, and I wanna check out Stellar Blade and, uh, Phantom Blade Zero, but I don't really have super expectations for either of those last two other than the gameplay. But yeah, what's everybody playing and watching right now? I know obviously Corey's watching My Adventures with Superman and Dragon Prince, but like, anything else? Cindy, what are, you, what are you watching and playing right now? And you as well, Wolfpack, if you are still here or if you are getting the food. Also, I'm surprised at how much blood and... Bruises we see from characters, it's certainly not on the level of Invincible, Cyberpunk Edgerunners, or Castlevania, but it's certainly more than I was expecting. Son of a biscuit. What is that voice? I feel like that voice is offensive to the people of a certain cultural background. Heck, I'm always ready for that. Um, well, I was expecting. There's definitely more use of it than Avatar The Last Airbender and Voltron. Been trying to make headway with Batman. Uh, I'm assuming you mean Arkham Knight, but it doesn't keep me interested for long spurts of time. I feel that. I feel like, and I said this earlier on Twitter uh, when I was talking to Catastrophe uh, from Wolf Entertainment, that I feel like Knight, Knight suffers from not, aside from the Batmobile, which I think is something it does wrong, it's, it's too much Batmobile, and not enough, like, unique combat pieces, like, and by that I mean like unique predator rooms or like fun truly feels like this is a fight with this character from the comics boss fights. I feel like Knight suffers from having to build even more on City and on Origins. Origins kind of got it easy where they they got to kind of come right after City and work with what City had established. They didn't need to push the envelope too much. But Knight as a sequel 
needed to. And I think that's a detriment to that game in that it's it ha it's even bigger. So it so like the traversal after a while stops being like like cuz in city or in origins you can like it it takes like 2 minutes to go from wherever you want to wherever you wherever else you want like maximum 2 minutes but with night it's so much bigger that it it, it starts to border on that interactive loading screen type of open world like it's nice to look at but there's not really as much to do it doesn't feel and it's because of how big it is, it doesn't feel as alive. And, like, there's always something going on. Like, I don't think Night is a bad game. I think it just suffers from having having to do even more. Having to push and build upon what was done in something like... Uh, I say something. In, in Arkham City and in Arkham Origins. Uh, this is my opinion, personally. Um, started my master difficulty full stealth run on Far Cry 3 with no aim assist and using a controller. Yeah, Arkham Knight. Yeah, I saw part of your uh, Far Cry 3 playthrough. Mostly been watching My Adventure with Superman, Dragon Prince Season 5. I've also been watching the Justified continuation series with my grandma. It's called Justified uh, City Prime Evil. Cool. I am watching SCP compilations. Interesting. Mostly from Dr. Bob. And I am playing Fallout 4 again and Vampires No Survivors. A lot of people have told me to play Vampire Survivors, but I never got around to it. Also, uh, which SCPs do, uh, do you like? I'm not uh, super versed in all the different SCPs. Uh, I'm more versed with the, the older ones and Slinky Man, because Slinky Man is a Sigma male. <laughs> Shout out to my voice, Slinky Man. Welcome back, Chris. Hope you have great stream. I'm gonna go hit the... Hey now. <laughs> all good. Thank you for popping in, hanging out, talking and all that stuff. It was lots of fun and I hope you enjoyed everything that you saw. Have a good rest of... Well, your Wednesday now. Also, uh... Also, in night, the city looks the same from... Uh, Ground Street level. I don't know if it's that much bigger, especially with... How fast you can move around as Batman, it doesn't feel like a massive or insurmountable open world like most Ubisoft. Well, I'm not saying that it feels like it's not that bad. I'm saying it just kind of, it starts to ride that line. At least I feel like. Like, yeah, it's, it's not as bad as a Ubisoft game. Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. But I just feel like with okay, I like I think the difference is it also comes down to the side content in city. Just about around every corner, there's something to do. There's something to find. There's there's some different villains turf or territory. And I feel like with night, they tried to make all the villains a little more directly involved to Batman, which is why they have their own, like, more singular plots and aren't not as many are tied in directly to the main plot, but I feel like that also kind of... I feel like that, that also kind of affects that, that feeling of, like, like I said, in City, you've got the museum, which is Penguin Surf, Penguin's people, Penguin stuff going on. Then uh, over at the courthouse, Two Faces Surf, Two Faces people, Two Face shit going on. Then you got the the carnival, which is all decked out Joker. Joker people, balloons and shit, fireworks. Then you got Poison Ivy's big tower thing. Each area feels like a little more distinct and different. So when you're going through it, it feels like 
you're going to different areas, even though you're not, ultimately. You're, you're going through the same city, it's just a different section. But I, I just feel like, with Night, it, 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 feel, it can feel like, if you're playing it for too long, that you're kind of just going through the same area again. Because it's not as... It doesn't feel as distinct visually. Because so much of it is decked out with, like, the neon lights or or the same militia dudes, whether you're on Bloodhaven Island or uh, Founders Island or whatever the third one was called, I don't remember. Like I said, it, like, like I was saying... It's nowhere near as bad as a Ubisoft game. I just think it can kind of start to push that line. Again, just because they had to do something bigger. They, they needed to. Because of how much of a success like Asylum was, and how much City built on that, and how much City was a success afterwards. I, I just feel like it's one of those things where what I think should have happened is Scarecrow takes over the city and then gives sections of it to the different villains. But now they're not fighting each other. They're kind of coexist, Kind of like in Harley Quinn... Uh, I think it was season two when like Mr. Freeze had his section of the city. Two-Face had his section. Penguin had his section. Blah, 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 blah. I, I feel like it should have been something a little more like that. Like, maybe Harley and Ivy have their section because they're friends. And, you know, I, I, I was going to say Harley Ivy. Ivy wants to maybe be there to help Harley because she's still grieving. Or Harley wants to make sure that her boys are there to back up Ivy because that's her best friend. And they've got their section maybe decked out with all kinds of, like, overgrown flora and fauna. But still with that Harley touch of, like, all this, uh, like, laughing graffiti over the city. And... Uh, different kind of like uh, jack-in-the-box I don't know trap things that Batman has to uh, I don't know turn off for whatever reason and sometimes they spawn out enemies or sometimes they spawn out plant controlled guys and then maybe in two faces section uh, maybe Harvey is a little more in control for whatever reason so he's trying to keep a little bit more civility and order in his section of the city and then in Penguin section, it's just this rampant flow of different crime and stuff like that. And then running uh, all throughout it, you've got the other villains who were invited to the, like, to the party, like Deathstroke or Firefly, who were just running amok, causing absolute chaos. They can be in any section doing whatever, and that changes up the dynamic even more. You know, stuff like that. And a bunch of, you know, just a bunch of, like, you know, fan... You know, just fan wishy stuff. Just a bunch of fan wishy stuff that, like, you know, that obviously, you know, it could have had if it had had a budget of a billion dollars and, like, in 20 years in development. I don't know, just cool ideas. Now, I haven't played Gotham Knight and I've still been pretty lazy about that. I feel like Arkham City's. Or Arkham City. Arkham Knight City is still better than Knights. Which I think, I think Knights is really hurt by just how generic it looks. Like, because Arkham Knight Gotham still looks breathtaking, beautiful, and truly unique from every inch of the environmental design to the way the buildings are shaped, to the lighting. And I think Gotham Knights is a step down from there to where it started to look like, I've heard a lot of people say it looks like generic San Francisco, New York. Now again, I haven't played it, so I don't know exactly how the traversal feels, but it, it, it looks like night or not night. Fuck. It looks like uh, Gotham Knights would get boring to traverse. Yeah, it has villain encounters rather than villain fights. The only one that generally felt like a boss fight was Killer Croc in the DLC. Also, I might or in night, the whole city came from. I don't know if. Okay, wait, I read that one already. Ubisoft game. SCP 0949. I always go back to Vampire Survivors every now and again. Also, would you say 
Lois Lane is a hard hitting <laughs> journalist. But I am playing Vampire No Survivors. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'll play Vampire Survivors eventually. I have it on uh, PC. Way too much for <laughs> That was the highlight of his day. <laughs> She's family, right? Yeah, she's only cake in the family tree. Prodigious baby machine, looks like. Past that, Brimstone reference on Slez is obscure. But suggests she's Babylonian winged shakab. A really old one. You know what that means. Winged shakab? Huh. I don't know that one. <sighs> okay, shakab are born vampires that can only be killed by destroying the heart. Their skin is very, very tough and impervious to blade attack. So, something more concussive, maybe? Sure, maybe. See what you can do. Shit. Somebody who's blind, she's got wicked aim. Maybe she'd like a taste of her own medicine. That's it. How you like them, Apple? Not those old The smurf scrub. Shit damn. Fuck shit damn. Alright, hold up. <laughs> it's a vampire survivor's reversal. In that game, you are spawning the monsters to kill the heroes in order to keep uh, three coffins safe. Interesting. I am in the market for more vampire games. Should only take one more if memory serves. Got her. Sounds like the wings have stopped. She's vulnerable, Rain. Get inside. 
Give me the good suck. Interesting. That is interesting. Also, I thought about, uh... I thought about replaying that, uh, Zampir game. Excellent. From several years ago, the Don't Nod game. Now, do you see a way to get to the upper level? I have bowel in my hair. Rain, climb up to the upper level. Is there a tunnel? That's how they're getting to the subway. I think I need a minute alone. Minor audio warning, the cutscenes sometimes will get loud. Ha! Sister, wait, it's me. I know who it is, Ephemera. I knew you were coming. Smelled your shadow stench a mile away. I came to tell you Slez has been killed. Ooh, excellent work, sister. I didn't kill her. I believe the killer is Dampier. Really? Well, good riddance to any full blood that lets a Dampier get the best of them. I assume you have matters in hand? <laughs> Certainly. Nothing I can't handle. And of course my findings have been duly recorded. Of course. How like you, sister. Nothing can be allowed to disrupt tomorrow's plans. Speaking of which, how go your responsibilities? Good is done. Ahead of schedule. Xerxes is coming to conduct the final shroud test tomorrow. Just a precaution. You've done excellent work here, Pharaoh. We'll run things well, you and I. After tomorrow's big show, I'm looking forward to our even bigger encore. That sounds like treason, sister. You and I take over the entire Kagan cult? <laughs> yes, it's going to be a marvelous surprise. <laughs> I must go. I have a renegade damp here to deal with. Oh, ephemera? Remember. I'm the fastest and the strongest. Next time you try to sneak up on me, I'll fucking sting you! Understood. Most definitely, Pharaoh. Fun fact, hey, this cutscene right here is not on the PS2 version. It is. Remember me. I'm sure I do. Ephemera, remember me? I took something from you eight years ago. Hmm. Did you? Ah, my pet shadow thief. Oh, you do remember. Snatched him just before you could turn him. And from right under your nose, too, wasn't it? Yes. And how is our Mr. Severin? He's a lucky man. I ensured that he dreams of me every night. So that's why he gave up sleeping. How's it going for you? Oh, infinitely well. I'm about to become a sort of a, a goddess. Something glorious is going to happen. Yes, Father. At once. I'm afraid I must take my leave, but why don't you come see for yourself? We can catch up on old times. Attend me. De Hester. Sundown. What's that? Who I think it was. Oh, you heard that? Uh-huh, your former ball and chain, but we still haven't finished our heart-to-heart. -heart. Did you want to talk? I, I could have put her on. No. Oh, thank you, no. What was that she said at the end? An invitation. Hey, which train line runs to the old chemical row? That's where they're moving all the kidnapped people. Uh, let's see. The blue line. So, you care about the victims all of a sudden? Shout out to the Ninja Turtle oh, blue line. Sorry, but I've got a date to keep and I want to get there early. All right, we are gonna save. And we are gonna exit game. We are not gonna end the stream just yet. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Cause they, they didn't add a, when this, when the terminal cut launched on PC, it didn't have achievements. So they added them in a few months ago. And that was when I started replaying this, because I wanted to do a full achievements run to get all of them in one go. 
fucking cut about that. Anyway, uh, we are not gonna end the stream. We're just gonna. I'm gonna look at how long we've been going for. And we may take a short break, or we might just go into another game. But, mm, how long is this the last break? Okay, about two hours. Yeah, yeah, we can just keep going. Yeah, yeah, we can just keep going. We're, we're about to hit seven hours. I figured we could play for another hour or two. I'm really glad I streamed today. Thank you all for coming out, by the way. I hope everybody's had a good time with everything that's been going on. Yeah, we can probably play for another hour. Um... I will let you guys decide. Do y'all want dark? Do y'all want spawn Armageddon? Do y'all want... Uh... What else do I have? Singularity? Or do y'all want... Resident Evil Revelations. I, w I was going to do Bioshock, but then I looked at how long the stream's actually been going. And the the next... Like, there's only, like, two areas left, I think. But here's where they're going to start getting, like, semi-long. So it, it could be a little while. So I'll leave it up to y'all to decide. What, what, what did I just say? Dark. Um, Spawn Armageddon. Resident Evil Revelations. Or Singularity. Singularity will be semi-close to a blind playthrough. I did play it once back in the year like 2011. Um, dark is... Just jank, and I want to see if we can actually make it through the first level. <laughs> eh, you know what? I'm kind of leaning towards Spawn, personally, just because, I don't know, it's in the same genre. As I said way earlier, I need to just suck it up and make a Ubisoft account by Prince of Persia. Okay, if you are stuck in a room with Adolf Hitler 3R, Osama B1 Laden, and pearly things, and you have a pistol <laughs> with three bullets, what kind of sandwich would you eat after? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Hello, Emily. Sup, Brian? Welcome to the stream. What the fuck, dude? I mean, well, my favorite sandwich personally is a grilled cheese. I don't know about y'all. Grilled nothing beats grilled cheese. M my mom used to make a really, really delicious grilled cheese. What, what about you guys? What's y'all's favorite sandwich? Also, I'll, um, I'll give y'all a moment to throw down your votey vote vote thingies. I should just put polls up in the chat, but I'm, I don't remember how to do that. Unfortunately.
Okay, while I was waiting on- I was waiting on you guys to, to put your votes in, I looked at my YouTube notifications. Somebody replied to me on a DSP playthrough video from, like, like, seven years ago. Shout out to DSP. Can I get shout outs to DSP in the chat? Can I get shout out to DSP in the chat, please? Give me just a sec. I also gotta post something in the Discord server, and then I'll look at uh, the chat to see what y'all voted upon. I. Ayo, Nicolas Cage came out for Z by Z Life. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I ain't gonna jump back into Dead by Daylight. I don't, I don't hate myself enough to do that. Hey, Emily, I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you later. Also, this game is... Fuck you as hell, dude! Wow, dude. <laughs> yeah, shout out to DSP. Shout out to DSP. <laughs> <laughs> spawn all right does one vote for spawn i'm gonna try to go to the boss fight with the violator but a thousand percent i've only ever completed this game once and it was years ago like i think the last time i completed this game was before i graduated high school so we all gonna we all gonna pray together. Where's my? Do I still have this? Oh, I'm stupid. Of course, it's this fucking folder. Right, um. Um. Okay. Oh, I should have shown y'all the trailer for this game before we started it. Because the trailer for this game looks bad ass. And then, uh, then I want y'all to see that actual gameplay. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do that. Got a options. This shouldn't be super. You know, I'm going to show y'all the trailer. Yeah, I want to show y'all the trailer for this game. Because the trailer for this game is bad ass. But then the actual game is like. This is probably the best spawn game by virtue of it not being the other spawn games. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Spawn. Spawny, Spawny, he's our man. If you can't kill him, no one can. Yay. Spawny. S to the P to the A to the 1. S to the P to the A to the 1. S to the P to the A to the 1. S to the P to the A to the 1. S to the P to the A to the 1. S to the P to the A to the 1. Yes, we want the trailer. I don't want your fucking intro. Fuck you. Shut up. Alright, let's, uh... God damn intro. Is there a heaven? Is there a hell? There is one who knows the answers. Oh, too well. well. Spawn, Spawn 
I'm not gonna. Look at this! You got the kick-ass music. You 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 got the kick-ass music. You got the to get the framing. Yeah, this is shit quality. But you, but you got like fucking chain choke slams and shit. Then I want I want want y'all to see what the actual gameplay looks like. All right. Um. Oh, that is out of season, and it is not an April Fool's joke. Unlike Diablo Immortal, God he. Anyway, um, sit back to here. He just reminds me of. Wait, what? I'm confused. You just reminded me of the butt out people from South Park? How? <laughs> I do really like how flowy the shroud is in the cutscenes. We don't get it in the game, though, unfortunately. I think the only game where you actually get the Scarlet Shroud is uh, when is Spawn's appearance in Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, their chant went from the beat to the YouTube. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Shout out to Mammon. That just struck Central Park. I saw it. What was it? Surely a herald of things to come. Yeah, I, I was referencing the the Spawn movie. A herald of things to come. What I actually might show the clip after we're I done here. Feeling. You're about to get involved in something that may... Their chant win. Whatever that beam was, I can handle it. From the B to the U no. to the T to the T. E to the O, etc. <laughs> yeah, alright. I'm gonna be relearning this now. <laughs> And uh, if I remember right, there are a few different spawn villains in this game. Obviously, we just saw Mammon. Um, Violator is in this game, although that went without being said. Uh, and uh, Redeemer is in this game, and Jason Wynn is in this game. I don't remember who else is in this game, though. Overt Kill is probably in this game. Yeah, you get the shot when you do the double jump, but on the ground, you just get the axe. Which is, like, fine, so whatever. Um, what does what? I hate this font. Fuck you, it's hard to read. <laughs> Fuck you, Todd. Yeah, this is this is probably the best spawn game by virtue of not being spawn eternal.
I don't remember what I set my GameCube controls to. Um, corresponding to the PlayStation controller I'm using, but let's hope I made them face button matching. lock on to you? I know there's a lock on, because you can use the chains. Yeah, there we go. Kids dig the chains. I dig the chains. <laughs> At least Todd was honest about it. Also, shout out to Todd McFarlane's intros for the Spawn cartoon. Cory, back me up. Back me up on how good those are! Back me up! <laughs> oh my god, uh... Yeah, there we go. That was kind of a waste of energy, but whatever. For necroplasm, I should say. Got him. We do get guns later that um, do help slightly diversify the combat. Spawn, I, I need Spawny. I, I need you to I need you to lock on Spawny. Yeah, we get different guns and different upgrades that will sorta of diversify the combat, but honestly the chains are your best are your best bet, because they're infinite. The chains work kind of like how the guns did in Devil May Cry 2, where they're just kind of overpowered and can kind of break certain enemies. Not just no, but hell no! <laughs> he had less charisma than Oral Stein had! Head in his pinky finger. <laughs> Come on! Todd was okay! He was trying! He was trying his best! Okay? Look, I got a lot of respect for Todd. And he and he tried his best, but somebody should have taken him aside and been like, look, Todd, you're not Stan. You're not Stan me. <laughs> Not 
I can say this, the music's good. Now let's go! We did it! I don't think we need to replay anything. We don't have enough, of course not. <clears throat> Alright, let's go! I don't remember if there are collectibles in this game. If Dan was one of the mysterious lurkers, then here is your playthrough of DMC2. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I get this. Like all ninja guide me and shit. Which reminds me, I do need to continue Ninja Gaiden 3. And probably play Ninja Gaiden 1. I don't know, like, Ninja Gaiden for me, it. I like Ninja Gaiden, but I, I think I've come to the conclusion that the only one I really love is Ninja Gaiden 2. Do y'all have a franchise like that? Where, like, you, you do like it. But you love, like, one entry way more than the other ones. Do, do y'all have something like that? I'm kinda like that with Devil May Cry, I guess. Because Devil May Cry 3 is, to me, like, leagues... Well, no, it's not leagues better than all the other ones, but like, three is the one I can find next to no real fault in whatsoever. The other ones, I, I can find something that I either feel is not, like, it's either an unfinished game situation, like Double May Cry 4. Or it's say it had elements in it that disappointed me, like Devil May Cry 5, where I think it does fail in certain areas to live up to that standard at three set. You little fuck.
Will you just die? Finally! Yeah, I can't take the chains. Pro gamer strat. Oh, you fucker. Thank God. Die. Oh, okay. You actually you can you can shatter them in one hit. Thank God. <laughs> All right, good. We know that for the future. All right, walls and let's go. Let's go. Yeah, dig the chain. Love the chain. It's shame and gang. It's <laughs> shame and gang. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, you know what this reminds me I'm gonna have to play eventually? Chaos Legion. Alright, let's go. Oof, that was close. Play the chaka.
Fuck you, door. I wish Wet was on PC. I'd like to replay that game. I had a lot of fun with it back in the alley. Fucking Sabriel looking Mochaka. Ow. Fuck you, Sabriel looking ass. Yeah, fuck your Sabriel looking ass. Let's go. Let's get us our first health upgrades. We do not have enough. Never mind. It just ain't happening. Ow. Jerk. Got him. I think the gun can go through there. No, it doesn't. Never mind. You get budged, nerd. Also, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I think I remember why I only played this game once. That's <laughs> 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 a little Rupert's kill. That was a, a little, a, a little Rupert's kill, if if I may say so. Myself. I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna be a hundred percent be a thousand percent with y'all. I remember why I played this one time ever. <laughs> this is better than DMC2 though. It is better than DMC2. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to Cal Razor, by the way. I think only Catastrophe gets that one. But it'd be like that, that'd be fine. It be like that sometimes. Die already. Un unkind. Unkind unjust.
you, Ralph! Fuck you, Ralph. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. I don't actually remember what I was supposed to do in here, but let's go anyway. I am invincible with the power of shame. Ow! Oh my god. Got him. Oh great, more enemies. Stick the chains. The hell? Oh, I hope it's not a situation of it an enemy just spawned where they can't be reached. That would suck, but Okay, let's go. Who designs factories like this? Like, for realsies? Alright, do I actually got the slightest idea how to get up there? Nope. What the fuck are you? Yes, can fucking get. Yes, can fucking grab. You can fucking grab this shit. Fuck you. Have you tried jumping and pressing the circle button? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Also, I am fully aware I still owe you a playthrough of Sly Cooper. And Necro a playthrough of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas game. And Cindy a playthrough of um, Fallout New Vegas. Shit, I actually don't know it. I'm supposed to get up there. There we go. Base.
Base, so let's go. Base and chaos pill. Oh, I got the machine guns. I need to stop using their ammunition because they um, they will be very helpful in the fight with uh, Violator. At least this game's blade arm, in it, blade arm enemy is a fucking runaway every time you do shit at any. Ow. You are doing more damage to me than I would like, though. I want to save my ammunition. Watch me be entirely wrong about what's actually useful in this boss fight. And end up using up my magic when that's not the thing it, when that's the thing that could have helped me in the fight. Fuck. Dig the chains! Dig the chains, love the chains! Love your chains and I love you! <laughs> Nice teleport spawn. Hell yeah. Save and continue. Jesus. Um... I think this is the machine gun. I hope I'm correct. If I'm not, then life sucks, I guess. The presence I felt, it's close. I don't know. It seems familiar. you up to, Violator? I thought I'd warn you to keep away from my city. Things change, Spawny. Our master will have need of his general before long. And I'll be the one to answer his call. <laughs> be my guest. I want nothing to do with him anyway. Damn you, Spawn. You've pissed me off one too many times. Prepare for oblivion. Yeah. 
Oh shit, I think I might actually hurt me. Yeah, looks like a skill issue violated. <laughs> And went up to this time. All right, everybody. On that note, we is gonna end the stream. Mostly because we're approaching eight hours, and I kind of don't want to play this for another hour. <laughs> But we don't have enough time to start anything properly or, um, or continue anything. So, that being said. Thank you all for coming out, hanging out. Hope you guys all had a good time. I had a great time. I had a lot, a lot of fun. Thank you all for being here, hanging out, doing all that gamer stuff. And I hope all y'all en enjoyed everything. Whether you were lurking, whether you weren't lurking, whether you were here for five minutes, whether you were here for the entire thing, whether you popped in and out, it don't matter. Thank you all for being here. Hope you all had a good time. There may or may not be a stream on Friday. It depends. I might be recording a playthrough on Friday. Um, but we will see. See you next time. Maybe. Hmm? Oh, why maybe? Sad face. Anyways, thank you all for hanging out and stuff. Hope you guys had fun. Um, where, where's the song? There it is. I found it. Stay safe. Have a good rest of your week. And goodbye. Transformed, cut into pieces and battle torn. My body is gone, insane in normal life. Sense is now as sharp as the edge of a knife. Ripped apart and put together again. Is there even the shred of the man that once was? The man that once was. Can you see the lightning strike Illuminating the darkest night And I will fight for what is right The man may be gone, but the heart won't die I am the thunder, the raging storm
my darkness since I was born The only thing I've ever known is how to fight a war But right now I don't know what I'm fighting for I'm a soldier of hell and with my tool of justice I will prove to the world that I'm just so much more Yeah, I am just so much more Beauty, but the beast. And if this was a horror, I would be the creature locked away, far from the light of day. Right.